What's up, Internet? My name is Jake Doxy, and welcome back to another episode of the Doxcast. I'm not going to lie, filming an intro is actually really, really fucking hard. After countless amount of efforts, I've realized this is probably the best we're going to get, so I'm not going to waste any more of my time, and for the length of the intro, I'm not going to waste any more of your time either. So without further ado, let's get straight into the episode. Try to catch a vibe, yeah, I had to put her on. Bought her too skitter, yeah, we heading for the sun. Try to go on high, I ain't tripping for the fun. Yeah, I won't start, I ain't tripping, I'm a stun. Oh, oh. I'm sleepy. Mm. Hold me too. Fuck, get that in. <laughs> yeah. You know, they all start casual and then they're like, oh yeah. In three, two, one. <laughs> I like how the nut boys just start. You know what I mean? There's no go. They just start talking. Yeah. And then when the guest is always like, when do we start? It's like, we've been gone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and then that fucking ruins it. Mm-hmm. What's his name? No, don't fucking oh, do it. He's no. a fucket, bro. Oh, well, I'm Stoney. Nah, Stoney's a fuck with you. <laughs> he clip it. Yeah, keep that. Send it to the nut boys. Oh, I'll start it. All right. I'll say it to you, but I've said it. All right, let me say it. <laughs> gonna say it a bit differently. All right, brother. I've said it to you before, but I'll say it to you again. <laughs> what about the mics? It's <laughs> <laughs> a good start. Oh, yeah. Keep, right, keep some bloopers. Keep some bloopers in right. this. Right, I'll give that in. But as I said, I've said it to you before, and I'll say it again, but from this side of the table. I really appreciate you for coming over, and I thank you for sitting down. Ladies and gentlemen, we are doing things a little bit differently because this is episode ten. Every ten episodes, we'll be doing the Docs Cast Swap Cast, where your boy. The baddest motherfucker in my phone, David not there. Oh, shit, yeah. <laughs> we'll be coming over, and he'll be sitting on that side, and I'll be sitting on this side. So for today, and for everyone watching and listening, thank you again for coming back. But things will be done a little bit differently. Every 10 episodes, as I said, will be done like this. Dave, it's all yours. Welcome. Doxy with the... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you straight <laughs> <laughs> Doxy with the... Uh, Give well, me two, yeah. So this oh. is about you today. You didn't have to do me so hard straight. <laughs> you got two seconds. <laughs> it's for the viewers. Oh Come on, bro. God. That's right. No one knows. No one knows. Oh, fuck it. No one, no one knows. knows. <laughs> you piece of shit. <laughs> no, all right, all right. No all one right. knows. It doesn't mean nothing. It just means something to you and me, you know? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. I'm sure all the right. viewers would appreciate getting to know you on a deeper level like one, this. One, maybe episode 100. We'll release it. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you better not be cutting any of this. Oh my god, I promise. Good. I promise. This is this is a I good promise, intro. I promise. I mean, like I'll release Doxy with the. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, all right. Let's get into it. I'm First ready. off, um, to like, get your viewers to know you a bit more. What's mm-hmm. what's the Doxy story? The Doxy story. Shit. Tell me about Shit. your life. How do I start with the Doxy story? Um. What are you well, about? Oh, the Doxy story. Well, I guess I grew up um, around St. Mary's, uh, public school my whole life. Got to, I loved, I actually loved living in St. Mary's. It was actually sick. Public yeah. school was sick. And it was just so much, it was so different when we finally moved out here and we went to private school. I did that for like the last two years of school, um, in eight and nine or nine and 10 or something yeah. like that. I didn't finish school. Um, but it was just, honestly, it's just different back then. I, f- I don't know if it was like this for you, but do you reckon when you were a kid and you'd play outside, you were, you were just always, always outside. But now, kids just do not go outside. Yeah, 100%. Bro, bro, I remember like every single day after school not getting home until it was dark. Yeah. Do you reckon kids do that now? Nah, but I do see kids on my street when I'm driving. I'm getting home from work or the oh, gym. Yeah. I'm like, fuck these little cunts on their bikes. Get the fuck off the road. <laughs> well, like, it's a, probably a good thing they're out playing instead of being on the PlayStation and that. Yeah, that is a good thing. Because I think about that, and when I do think about what it was like growing up, I think, man, I, I think we were lucky. I think we were, like, the last people to be lucky to play outside. Because mm. now, obviously, everyone has games. But I remember when fucking PlayStation 1 came out, bro. I was, fuck, that's when... I kind of would have been, like, 6 or something like that. And now kids are growing up with PlayStation 5s and iPhones and shit. Yeah. Anyway, a little tangent. We're not on a tangent. <laughs> oh, shit. Better silence that. <laughs> oh, yeah. You got hidden up in the dance, boy. <laughs> don't worry. Can I say the name? No. Nah. <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, all right. I'll, I'll, I went off track a bit. And for everyone listening, let me just say I am sorry. I'm going to ran, uh, 
ran a little bit in this because I'm fucking sleep deprived. <laughs> Bro, I'm so fucking tired. tired too. I don't know how you're surviving right now. Oh, I'm dead. Bro, I'm I was dead. about to nap before you called. <laughs> I was like, fuck, I forgot about the podcast. I was, I was about to nap before I called you. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. I was like, when if I can fit? <laughs> uh, Red Bull jump on sponsorships. Um, we out here tired. So we do. <laughs> <laughs> no one else is fucking saying, so well, to be a fucking sponsor. <laughs> what happened with the um the messages you were sending? Yeah, I'm still I'm still going. It'll take some time. Yeah. I don't want to say it obviously, yeah, 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 yeah. just in case. But I do I do hope to get a pretty good sponsor soon for the beverages for the potty. But another one of the uh, sponsors I wanted to get that I was back and forth with, I can't do for a year. What? <laughs> it was an alcoholic alcoholic beverages. Right. Like, I'm not drinking for a year, so... Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so I'm thinking, fuck, yeah, yeah, yeah. maybe I should start drinking again. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. Fuck it. <laughs> no, all right, I'll get back to the question. So <laughs> growing up was pretty chill. I loved growing up outside. I spent all, all my childhood going to the park, going to the skate... A lot of time at the skate park, actually. Yeah, you're a bit of a skater, weren't you? Yeah, yeah. I was, it's scooters, bikes, um, skateboards... Even fucking ripsticks, were all base power wings, whatever, bro. It doesn't oh, matter. Yeah. <laughs> it didn't matter what. Fucking power wings are probably my favourite. If anyone listen, the fuck, fuck is a power wing? A power wing. You have one. It's like the thing with the fucking the triangle oh, scooter. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And you okay. just fucking like wiggle yeah, yeah. that. It's hectic. I love that thing. So I spent a lot of childhood doing that. I also spent a good couple of years of my childhood at a trampoline centre. I got pretty fucking, pretty good at flips and shit. Oh, yeah, you're fucking sick come with the backflips. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I learned all that when I was a kid. Um, then we moved out from St. Mary's to here, the first time we moved here, actually. Um, and we went to a private school, which was fucking much different <laughs> to a yeah. fucking public Big school. Big difference. You went to the same school as me, bro. I was fucked, eh? Yeah. <laughs> bro, that school was fucked. Uh, I remember the first day I seen you, I think you were coming for some visit or something. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what for. <laughs> I see this little Eshe kid walking around, bro, with TNs and that, and a fucking hat. Hey, yeah, you know what? You're the only other kid in the school with TNs. <laughs> I was like, oh, shit, he liked me. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I remember that, too. I remember I was talking to your, your brother, Del, because we were in the same class. My f- He was actually... Your brother, Del, was assigned to look after me. I think... No, nah, it might have been Luke Sessions. Luke Sessions and Del. They were assigned to look after me on my first day, and... Bro, I didn't know who these people were. I lost them straight away. Yeah. Fuck, two hours later, I'm wandering around the room by myself. <laughs> I forgot about me. And then, anyway, Dill ends up being like, oh, that's my older brother. I'm thinking, fuck, I'm going to hang out with him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he gets me. Yeah, anyway, as I said, much different going to a public sc- private school from public. Um, I tried. I tried. I tried to be a good kid. I was just a bit uh, distracted. Then through the boys at private school, they actually put me on to going to church. So I started going to church for a couple of years. I actually really enjoyed going that. Shout out to Hillsong. I know it's corrupt as fuck. And uh, <laughs> poor old Brian Houston's had to step down <laughs> for some bad allegations lately. Really? <laughs> what allegations? Oh, I'll tell you after in case I'm wrong. <laughs> in case you're wrong. In case I'm wrong. Are you can fact check. <laughs> All right, let's fact check it right now. To put on this thing, I'm just going to look up on Safari. Did Brian Houston step down from Hillsong? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Because I know his dad was the original person to step down from Hillsong. Mr. Houston resigned from his roles within Hillsong after he was accused of breaching the church's moral code in his interactions with two women. Oh, what? <laughs> yeah, I knew that was sex allegations. No, definitely Whoa, what's wrong with sex that? allegations. Clapping some cheeks. I don't know if it was clapping some cheeks. I think it was more like a, I don't want to spit this shit, bro. That's my church. Or he, he rocking threesomes. I don't think it was rocking threesomes, but I think he, like, I think he insinuated sex with cheeks. I don't think he actually. I think he tried pretty much. He tried those sex oh, cheeks, but in, inappropriate. Yeah. He tried to clap them cheeks. Yeah, yeah. He tried and failed. But I'm pretty sure it was inappropriate. As clap well. the L. In fact, you know the chick from Elite Fitness that used to work there that had the American accent, the oh. fit one. She was blonde she was hair. Fit. Th- yeah, blonde hair. She had an American accent. She was from the church. Yeah, she was the one that came out, and she was on the current affair. Oh, wow. oh yeah, it was yeah, on the current really. affair. <laughs> Yeah. Bro, she out here, me too, motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you know what's crazy? Brian Houston's dad, um, the accusation. He went to jail, bro, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure he did. 
Seven years ago, a royal commission found that Houston's dad, Frank, had confessed of having abusing the young boy during trips to Sydney in 1969. I'm pretty sure he went to jail. Yeah, Houston faced up to five years jail. Like, I'm pretty sure they were, like, the proper, like, stereotypical oh, <laughs> past the fucking things, bro. Fucking hell. Touching kids and that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Like, it's, it's far. But anyway, that's my church, bro. I love it. <laughs> 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 no way. Yeah, that's my joke, bro. Love no, that bro. Church. I, I'm following Tate's footsteps, bro. I'm oh, like, I've seen that. Converting, converting. He did, bro. He came out as Muslim. I listened to a podcast with that today, you know. That was cool. It made me think a bit, you know. Yeah. I do respect the Muslim religion. It's pretty cool. But uh, I've already picked one. <laughs> <laughs> you picked one or did the school um, brainwash you into it? I... I don't know, bro. That's a good question. I don't think I got brainwashed into it. I think I just chose to do what the other boys were doing. Yeah. Because the other boys are all going to church and, you know, they had things on Friday nights and shit, so I'd go with them. And then I think I kind of just fell into it. But I didn't really believe it until, like, probably four or five years after I left. I stopped going to church. Yeah. Then I decided I did believe in it. But the school the school did try and brainwash kids. I remember one time, one of the... Do you remember the... The Bible teacher from, uh, what's it called? The school? Fuck, no, nah, I don't know. No, bro, he no, got... I've got no memory. Is that <laughs> he got no memory. <laughs> I don't remember nothing. That's too long ago. Bro, he got up in front of the school and he gave like a fucking, like a preach to like, you know, why you have to believe in God and stuff. And then he goes, and you know what? If you don't choose God as your savior and you die, which we all will, and you get to heaven's gates, you know what he's going to say to you? And everyone's like, what? And he goes... Go to hell! Fucking you! Know, I'm scaring you into it. <laughs> he scared the fuck out of everyone. <laughs> Everyone's like, "Oh shit!" It was definitely a little bit of brainwashing in that. Yeah, it's <laughs> crazy. Yeah. So, I guess I went to private school on Hillsong for a bit. Dropped out of school in year ten. Got a trade. First job I could find. With family friends started doing refrigeration. Yep. And at the same time, joined a gym, started doing some fighting. At the time, it was just probably, I think it was kickboxing. And then, you know, fast forward seven, eight years. I think this is eight years. I'm still working in refrigeration. I started doing supermarket. Yeah. Did everything in the middle, every type of thing in my trade. Killed, absolutely killed my fucking apprenticeship, bro. Smashed it. Yeah. Fucking smashed it. Smashed it, Smash, eh? Scholarships, apprentices of the years, bro. Absolutely Fuck. smashed it. Oh, yeah. Little flex, bro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> talk your shit, talk your shit. Yeah. Absolutely Should, fucking uh, smashed Yeah, bring it. that up with your employer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll bump you up. I will, Christmas. Couple extra bucks. Couple extra bucks here and there. I'll yeah. show him the certificate to Christmas. Yeah. You know, the little certificate. Uh, top 25 people under the age of, you know. Yeah. Yeah. The Australia. magazine articles. The magazine magazine articles yeah i got all that i kept all of that shit oh really yeah i'd all love right. to get in more magazines in the future one day i'd love to have a little fucking crazy. collection yeah i got three Fuck. three different magazines i spread across two years yeah yeah Fuck. anyway like good flex on, i guess it feels good to flex right yeah that's <laughs> your shit bro that's crazy like how many people can say that you know well eight Eight people can say they got in it, yeah. In all of Australia? In all of Australia. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> See, you're, you're a top eight fridgy in Australia. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, hard. Uh, exactly. But yeah, I've always, always had a passion for the trade I do because I just naturally found it interesting. Yeah. And for anyone listening who hasn't decided what they want to do yet or they want to try something new, I do recommend refrigeration. It's a trade that no one knows how to do, you know what I mean? Like, everyone can build, like, a carpenter, but... <laughs> Not as hey. good as a carpenter. Sure, you know what sure, I mean? Yeah. A carpenter's... Like, I can cut timber and nail it and screw it. Like, I can't. I can't do it. I can't build a house like the boys can build a house. Yeah. But I can fucking build a box. Yeah. But refrigeration is something where it's like, no one knows what the fuck's going on. I don't know. I reckon I'd have a Yeah, you did because you worked day. with it, bro. <laughs> you fucking worked with it. Um, that's why I found it interesting. And then I just got... I just fell in love with the installation part of it. The supermarkets. The, yeah. the giant cold facilities. The... The fucking core room's bigger than football fields. Yeah. The freezer room's bigger than crazy, five football yeah. fields. Yeah, crazy. Bro, and the blast freezers. The blast freezers, bro. Oh, you know what? You know the best hangover cure? A blast freezer? It's a blast freezer. Oh, shit. Bro, I used to go out, like, during the week, right? <laughs> yeah. Before work. One day I rocked up, bro. I think I was still drunk driving to work, to be <laughs> honest. I was fucked. Yeah. I had the worst hangover. Fuck, I had to work in a blast freezer. I was like, oh, fuck, my day's going to be shit. Oh, it's gonna be so shit. Bro, 20 minutes in, I was like, 
fuck, I feel good. Oh, what? Yeah, I was like, that's fuck crazy. it up, I feel amazing. I wonder why. That's crazy. Because you think the heat would make you feel better. They reckon like a sauna. Oh, no, nah, I, I think that'll make you... You reckon it'll make you feel yeah. worse? I thought you'd sweat it out. Nah. But somehow it just freezes The dehydration it. makes you worse. Oh, yeah, true. But I don't know, something about that blast freezer, bro, that minus 30. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah fuck. Yeah. That's sick. That made me feel good. That's sick. Maybe because your body's cooling down. Because the heat's trying to leave your body in a blast freezer. Mm. Yeah, blast freezers are crazy, bro. You know, you can die within like five minutes, I'm pretty sure, if you get locked in there. Yeah, what's the rules? It's like 15 minutes in, and then you got to go out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it's like for the big ones, yeah, yeah. yeah 15 minutes right. in. But they have they don't have the fans on or anything like that, do they? When you work in them. No, yeah. They have I've the fans got the fans going when I work in them. Fuck, I've never had the fans Can't, on. I've worked right in front of the fan. <sighs> Bro, I got frostbite on my ear. Oh, my ear turned black, eh? Oh, hey. oh my god! Bro, I got stitched up. Right? That's crazy. So I was still an apprentice. I was working with this old cunt, mm-hmm. and he's like, "Oh, we're in a freezer tomorrow." I was like, "Okay." He's like, "Do you have a freezer suit?" No. He's like, all right, there's some spares in the office. Just go in the office, grab a jacket. <laughs> I was like, "All right, sweet." Yeah. Okay, grab a jacket from the office. Mm-hmm. Didn't grab no pants, nothing. Mm. Didn't wear extra socks. Go in there. No, got no gloves. Hello, I went in there (laughs) in shorts, freezer jacket, like thinnest pair of socks ever. (laughs) I was freezing, bro. (laughs) Fuck. How big was the blast freezer? Because I've only worked in like ones no bigger than this room. A blast freezer. No, well, fuck, it was big. We had to get a scissor lift the door. Oh my god. It was that big, yeah. That's a big blast freezer. And for anyone listening, a blast freezer is designed to take something, the heat out of a product. Say it's like. Straight out of an oven, you know, salami, bread, something like that at 80 degrees, 100 degrees. It freezes it down to minus 20, minus 30 in like 15 minutes sometimes you can do it in. Like it's mm. just a crazy fucking freezer. Massive fans as big as the walls, just blasting cold area. Yeah. Literally ice freezing in the air before it's the ground. Yeah. <laughs> crazy type shit. Oh, that's a, a scissor lift is a big one. Well, that's crazy. And you say it went black? Yeah. <laughs> it went black because I was working in front of the fan. And like, um, this side of my head was like facing the fan the whole time. And I was like, fuck my ears going numb. But the next couple of days, it started turning black. I was like, oh, what the fuck? It went all hard. And I was like, oh, bro, I'm about to lose an ear. <laughs> Wait, the next day it went all hard? Yeah, like throughout the week oh, after. I was like, oh, bro, scary. I'm about to lose an ear. But it was just like the top layer all like peeled off and that. Oh, were you like nervous to touch it in case it broke? No, to be honest, I ripped it off, eh? <laughs> oh, that's not what I do. That's yeah. not what I do. Yeah. I that's crazy. Oh, well. All right, good tangent. Yeah. As I was saying. <laughs> okay, I can tangent with you the whole time, mate. Bro, the podcast should just be tangents. <laughs> yeah. We talk it's good easy. shit, eh? It's easy we talk us, good bro. shit. It's easy with us. Then, I, as I was saying... Um, how do we get into blast freezers? I don't even know. Well, we'll talk about your work. Yeah, yeah true. So. I just love the installation side. Oh, yeah. I, I, know, I know what I was going to say. I was talking about how the fact that I love the, the bigger scale of things. How big can a production area be? Yeah. I like seeing how things are made, too. So I get to go to the places that make the bread for Woolies or the cakes for Coles or the, you know, as you've been to abattoirs and the yeah. places where they fucking kill the chickens for all the poultry farms. I love anything from the roots. It's mad. Anyway, they're building a fucking thing at Penrith. They released the plans, I think it was I think it was before COVID. And yes, for anyone listening, I just said COVID. And I'm not beeping that shit. I'm so fucking sick of beeping it because fucking YouTube didn't allow you to say it. And I'm going to say it here. Fuck YouTube and fuck COVID. Right, I'm fucking so sick of this <laughs> censorship bullshit. Fucking bro. COVID. Bro, the biggest bullshit it's out. God. Biggest bullshit. Fuck bro, off. I should have done the pat and not got the vaccine. <laughs> yeah. Fuck me too. I had to get tripled. Fuck, <laughs> you got tripled? I did. Bro, I, I stopped. Go. After I got my second, I was like, nah, fuck it. If oh. I lose my job, I lose my job. <laughs> I had to go Bali. I had to get it. Oh, do you have to get to go overseas still? N- only some countries. Only some countries. Oh, like Bali, so. yeah. America, I don't know. Right. Yeah, any, any, I suck a dick. I'm not <laughs> yeah. getting a fucking another vax to go to the season. Yeah, yeah, hard, hard. Anyway, I was gonna say at Penrith, they're building. They released the plans before COVID about they're building an indoor snow park the size of Perishar. Oh, indoors. No way. Yeah, indoors. It's a fucking. It's gonna have sky lit. Like what do you what do you call them? Uh, chairs, sky chairs. Whatever you call oh, them. Oh yeah, yeah. It's gonna have mountains. You can ski, ski, snowboard. Fuck. Biggest refrigeration job ever, bro. Yeah. Ever. I hope our company lands it. 
It's meant to be a massive Bro, project. You're going to have to be a big company to land that. Whoever whoever gets that job is going to have to hire hire 10 more people, at least. Uh, at least. Yeah. It's massive. Everything's going to be fake snow. It's all ice machine bullshit, bro. Yeah. Snow machines dropping snow from the ceiling. Everything's cr- oh. it's crazy. Yeah. It'll be so hectic. And that that's the reason why I like the trade, because things can just get so unbelievable. Yeah. Unproportionable. Mind you, the money's all right, too. Money's okay. <laughs> <laughs> that definitely helps. Yeah. I, but, like, kids listening... If I could go back, I'd be a fridgy. Oh, for real, you would? Yeah, bro, the money, <laughs> the money is ridiculous. <laughs> it's all right. Bro, you tradesman <laughs> the fuck. <laughs> what about the builders on site the other day? He's talking about us, telling us how much money he makes. We're all working night shifts. Mm. And he's telling us, and everyone kind of like gets a bit quiet and looks at each other, us fridgies. Yeah. And then everyone's thinking, and then inside they're thinking, fuck that, bro, you're meant to be the builder. And then one of the boys goes, Bro, that's fucking shit. I would quit if I was you. Your job sucks. <laughs> that was really funny. No, some builders are on crazy money. This come was on 60 an hour flat rate, including night shift. Fuck. <laughs> fuck that, eh? <laughs> fuck. fuck the night that. shift? No. Yeah. <laughs> no. Fuck that. Fuck that. <laughs> that's Bro, those cadets that won the jobs they were doing, they're like, cadets are still training to be like... The builders. What's cadets? What do you mean by cadets? Like the air, like the air force cadets. No, 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 like builders cadets. Is it like a trainee builder? I guess like project manager type shit. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, you know the cunts that walk around in like fucking. In like the white collar shit. No, no, they still wear like all the high vis, but the bosses. I know what you mean. I mean, I know what you mean. They're like they're not. They're the not chippy boss. builders. They're not chippies that become builders. They go straight to builders. Oh right. Is cadets like an actual term or is that like a oh, trading that's term? That's what like everyone's been calling them. Oh, wow. They're Never all the ones that. learning. It makes yeah. sense if they're like training to be a builder. <laughs> like, yeah. I get that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah on. They're on crazy money. Are they? Yeah. Cadets were on more than tradesmen. I was like, what, what the fuck? What? Well, I know fucking Luke Sessions. Shout out to you, Luke Sessions. He's on good coin. He's kind of, he's like project manager. Yeah. The job. And he went to uni to do it too. It's on good coin. That motherfucker's learning how to be. He's doing architectural design. Or he's doing all sorts of shit. That oh, motherfucker's fuck. a motherfucker. Shout out to Lukey. Yeah. <laughs> he was the last episode. Anyone that hasn't listened, go listen to Luke Sessions episode nine. Um. All right. Where were we at? Um, <laughs> fuck. I don't know. The seat's harder than that seat, bro. I usually get to prepare for what I'm gonna say in that seat. Bro, I just I just let my mouth run when I'm in that seat. To be honest, <laughs> just, yeah, just keep talking. Yeah, That's I love trick. it. It's sick. It's actually pretty cool being over here. Yeah, I don't have to stress too hard. This is your fuck. If this is a shit episode, it's on you, bro. <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, it's called the Doc's Cast. Yeah, fuck nah. you, me. Nah, read the title of Stop Cast. <laughs> Yeah. It's on you, bro. It's like a... Yeah, Drew, I'm the one that's the editor. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to work the magic. Yeah, make it look good. Yeah. All right, so uh, I love... that's As I said, that's why I love the trade. So I have done that non-stop working in the industry. Recently, I did quit the job I was at. I was there for six years, seven years, because I wanted to start working for myself because I wanted to have more time to do the podcast. Mm-hmm. So that worked out good for a good you know month and a half, two months. Until a company recently called me up and offered me a job working night shifts. So now I work nights, come home in the day. I should be working on the podcast, but instead I'm subbing. So I'm working day Fucking, shifts as well. You're a busy man, bro. <laughs> and Fuck then that. Actually, then I do the podcast. Doing two shifts and then the podcast shit? <laughs> yeah. Fuck, it's man. Like, what, what time is it now? It'd be it's like nine o'clock. Nine o'clock on a Friday. It's Friday today? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I woke up Thursday. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's crazy i love it but i fucking love crazy. it crazy no wonder you knock out on a friday and miss things eh <laughs> oh, I, I just cut that bit <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, I just, no, no, no. Cut that. <laughs> no. no one just no one heard what you just said <laughs> trust me trust me no you can't do that you can't do that no why no because what if bro like what if i'm not a dog like mean? that no. <laughs> I'm not a dog like that. Well, <laughs> I can't, can't keep cutting shit. <laughs> no, you can't cut. That was that was good. No, not having it. Right. I don't know. That's kind of story. We're kind of up to date. There's a million yeah. hobbies and interests and relationships and vendors and you know yeah. things that have gone in along the way. But that's basically led me to where I am now. And I have to say, the podcast is my main goal. 100 percent is my main goal. I'm only working to have more money to spend it on the podcast. That's the only reason I'm doing it. 
Fuck, I think you should cut back on one of those jobs then, man. Yeah, I am. Next year. Next, next year. year. No, 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 no cashies next year at all. Yeah. And I'm going to focus on training and podcasting instead. Yeah. Yeah. Because I've said it on here, 10 episodes in a row now, I'm going to take a fight next year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Can't wait. Can't wait for that. I can't wait either, Mark. Uh-huh. Yeah, While we're talking about podcasts, what made uh, you get, um, get into it? Good question. Good question. What made me get into it was probably the fact that I was listening to Joe Rogan a lot. Um, I didn't get on the bandwagon as early as some people did. Probably episode, like, I reckon 800. I think I said, I think... I think it's around 800. I think Steve-O came out around episode 800 as well. I might have That might have been the first one to get me on it. If not, it was around then. And fuck, now that I think about it, that's 1,000 episodes ago. He's on episode 1,800 and something. Oh, fuck. Yeah. 1,836, I think, came out today. That's a lot. What I'm does he do? Weekly? Podcast. What's he do weekly? Nah, he does a lot. He Some weeks he'll pop out like four. Fuck. Yeah. But he's been doing it for over 10 years. I know that's for sure. Yeah. And, um, yeah, but some weeks, I guess in the beginning, you probably missed a couple of weeks, but that's what got me into listening to podcasts. And at the same time, I also learned about myself that my favorite thing to do is talking shit. Oh, bro. It's my favorite thing. There's nothing that compares to it. The drugs, pussy, food, fucking spending, golf, anything, skating, anything I've ever done. My favorite thing in the world is just having a fucking yarn. It's yeah. so good. And... It just all made sense to me. So I really wanted to do it, call it two years ago, and it came over yours. We ran some episodes back, original on a GoPro. Yeah. Practiced a bit, and I was trash. I didn't know how to hold a conversation to save my life. I thought I knew how to talk. Turns out I didn't. And then I got my tax return this year, and I just decided, fuck it, that i got to stop being a pussy about it mm. and just fucking... Put out some shit content until it gets better. Yeah. Yeah. And that's so. Like, yeah, that's good. Yeah. Now we're 10 episodes in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully we can see some improvement. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I hope so, <laughs> so the viewers, please comment on this video if he's improved since the first time. <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. But I do think about that. I think like, imagine episode 100, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm going to feel fucking comfortable as fuck in my own skin. Mm. I'm going to be hope hopefully meeting a new person every week that I haven't met before. Yeah. Um, I just I'm just so excited, bro! I can't wait for the next episode. I can't wait for the yeah. next episode. Is there ways um you can like track your progress or yeah, see is. how you're getting better? There is. YouTube has like YouTube analytics, so they'll tell me everything. We're only recently gotten onto doing it. Yeah, and it will tell me total hour. My most important thing that I'm focusing on though is something that I can't really improve. It's just what makes me feel good, and that's total hours consumed. Right. So it'll just tell me, and that's it's just for me. It's is that how many people's feeling. watched your whole page? Well, that's how, how many, many hours. How, how many hours watched? have been watched? Okay. You know, divided yeah. by ten or whatever. It was point ten. Yeah. Point one. So, you know, I think maybe now it's on, say between fifty and a hundred or something like that. Maybe more. I can't. I can't remember. I'm too sleep deprived every time I go to do it. <laughs> but. It's, that's what makes me feel good because I know that I provided that much entertainment. Yeah. You know? Even if someone's only clicked on it for 10 minutes, all that stuff is tracked as well. You can see when people click on, when people click oh, on. Oh, really? You can see like what type of engagement people have based on seeing the thumbnail. Like yeah. There's a lot of things that can come into play. But all that shit kind of bores me. I'm not, I'm not interested in fucking trying to do something to grab other people's attention mm. i just want to talk to you and talk to the boys and talk to other people i find interesting yeah and then if i'm going to be learning more about you i want other people to learn more about you too mm. because that's always been exciting to me introducing people introducing people's always been exciting and it's kind of like i'm doing yeah. that now yeah yeah like when i had my barbecue the other day the other month like People knew Danny, bro. People were like knew Danny, like like yeah. oh Danny, you sick on you had a fight today, didn't you? Yeah. And they've never right. met him before, and I could tell that was because they watched the podcast. And the boys who are watching, thank you for for watching, and thank you for sending me love every fucking week. There is a few of you who literally do it every week, and a fuck, it's the best feeling. And I wouldn't be doing it if you if people didn't watch it. Mm. I wouldn't. If I had zero views, I'd feel fuck <laughs> like send <laughs> a bit of time. Yeah. And I was happy in the beginning with one, two, three, four, five. I thought I'd probably get seven to ten views. Mm. Our first one got 250 so far. 
Like that's well, that's pretty good. Yeah, bro. I'm happy. I'm fucking happy with that. What's that's your highest? Good. Yeah, that was the, that was the first one highest. Oh, they're, highest. they're sitting now at about a hundred, hundred. Some of them get hundred fifty. Hey, you know why? <laughs> I brought that clout, bro. <laughs> yeah, I brought that clout. That's what's up. That's hectic. Appreciate it. But I, I really enjoyed episode one, and I'm gonna enjoy doing this every ten episodes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah. Yeah, it's fun. This is actually hard, bro. It to be the host. Oh, you honest. reckon being the host is hard? Yeah. All right. Fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. I thought this would be easy. Yeah. But sitting here in this seat, <laughs> fuck me. You, like, it's a good, like, it's crazy what you do. Fuck, I Like, I'm impressed, it. man. Oh, I appreciate that. I appreciate it. But you look like you're killing it. I can't tell that you... Oh, okay. <laughs> I can't tell that it's hard. I can't tell that it's hard. No, my trick, I'm pretending I'm the guest, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. But, yeah, it is a bit hard, actually. Mm. It is sitting in that seat. It's getting easier now, because I know... I've obviously learning... Well, say I'm in your seat yeah. and I know I've gone dead for a second. The next time I'm preparing to ask questions, I've got to fill in something for the dead questions. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I've got to say someone answers something really kind of boring. Mm. Now, I might get a yes or no question. So for the next one, I know how to word it a bit better to get a longer answer. Yeah. So it does get easier and easier and easier, yeah. which is why I think, fuck, if I was... 1,800 episodes in like Joe Rogan, mm. I can step aside, right? It's going to be a new fucking podcast in town. <laughs> The so 1,800. You must look up to Joe Rogan then. Oh, is there um, anyone else that inspires you? That, that's that's a good, good at these skills, bro. you know? Yeah, bro, I'm stealing these questions. Like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what you mean, bro? <laughs> no, no, I yeah. actually did write some of these questions down for someone in two weeks, but I'm going to have to give you the credit for it now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do. I look up to in the podcast world or just in yeah, general? Yeah, yeah, podcast world because like, Ooh, Obviously, so you're going to like look and be like, oh, they're good at this. I might try and do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's true. Like for me, if I'm looking up to a fighter, I'm like, oh, he's good at this. So mm-hmm. I'll try and incorporate that for myself. So is there someone you do that with? 100%. 100%. All I do is consume podcasts. All I do. Mm. Today, I listen, today at work, or last night, I probably, at work, I probably listened to three or four. Yeah. Today at work, I listened to another two. I listen to fucking all day, every day. All I do is consume, mm. consume, consume. I had half an hour to kill before you got here. Quickly chuck on a podcast. Yeah. All I do is consume. So Joe Rogan has to be the goat. No one can, no one can argue with it. He has to be number one. Oh, bro, the patience he has with some of the people, like even when he wants to argue, but he knows he shouldn't, yeah. and the way he like, <laughs> oh, fuck, yeah. I could never, bro, be jumping on that table, oh, smacking him, motherfucker. <laughs> he impresses me, bro. That's one thing that I like about him because. Not only does he have the ability to grab people's attention because he has the most amazing guests, mm. but he is just such an interesting person. Aside from all the hobbies he has, yeah. the hunting, the pool, the fighting, the comedy, the podcasting, the list could go on forever, but he he's just so curious and I resonate with that. You yeah. Know? He just wants to know answers. Yeah, you've got I, a curious mind like you. I have to know yeah. the answers and that's why when I'm listening to him, I'm like every fucking time I ask a question, part of me goes... Yes, Khan, I needed to know what that was. Yes, Khan, I needed to know that. And they're questions that I didn't even know I wanted to know. Mm. But he asked them, like, I always knew I needed to live. <laughs> How did I not know? I've always wanted to know that. Yeah. But as I said, he's going to be the GOAT. Other people I look up to would have to be Full Send Podcast, which is, again, M- minus stereotypical. Stiney. No, plus Come, Stiney. Minus Stiney. Plus Fuck Stiney that, times two. Fuck Stiney. <laughs> I love Stiney. No, he is shit at podcasting. <laughs> he not. interrupts motherfuckers <laughs> and changes the subject and it doesn't flow. <laughs> it's his job. <laughs> it can't be his job to be a fuckwit. It's his job. No it's way. his job to be a fuckwit. No way. He has to. Bro, has to. if I'm ever a guest on that, I'll slap him. <laughs> I'll slap him like, shut the fuck up. I'm still answering his question. Why are you jumping in like this? <laughs> slap him and then answer his question to someone else. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just ignoring the whole time as well. <laughs> Don't even acknowledge him. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, That's great. Someone told him. <laughs> What's that noise? Whiny Stiney, eh? I love Stiney. But the uh, reason I like the Full Send podcast is because I like Kyle. I think Kyle's a fucking inspiration he's yeah. he's grown milk into a crazy ass business and as again very stereotypical they have to be the two biggest podcasts but they're the two biggest podcasts because they're the they're killers mm. they're absolute killers most of the other ones i listen to are all comedic 
And Jackson Wynn, I know you're listening. You can back me up here. I've sent you a crazy list of comedic podcasts, and he's getting through them. And he, if anyone else wants it, let me know. But so far, people have been enjoying yeah. my recommendations. Send it through. Send it I'll send through. it through. Jackson, there's a list. I probably Theo got Theo. Theo on that. Oh, yeah, this yeah. past weekend, yeah. King and the Sting. Oh, no, fuck that one. All... Oh, yeah, you don't like Brendan Shaw, eh? Yeah, fuck that guy. <laughs> I'll fight him, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I like Brendan Shaw, bro. Yeah, you don't like all the good people. No, what you mean? <laughs> I, I like the Full Send podcast. <laughs> yeah. But I don't like Sonny. True, true. Well, you'd like King and the Sting if it wasn't for Brendan Shaw. Who's uh, who's feeling with him? It was Theo Vaughn and Brendan, and then it was Theo Vaughn, Brendan, Schaub, and Chris D'Elia. Ah, uh, okay. And then now Theo left, so it was just Brendan, Schaub, and Chris D'Elia. Ah. Uh, but I like I don't like Chris D'Elia either. You don't know Chris D'Elia? No, I don't like him. Oh, oh nah, bro. bro. <laughs> him and Theo are my two favourite comedians, for sure. Really? For sure. Fuck. Just as funny as each other. Yeah. But they're my heroes in the podcast game. There is other ones, Fresh and Fit. You know Fresh and yeah. Fit? They're kings. They're fucking really good at what they do. Um, Lex Freeman, yeah. he's a great interviewer. Duncan Trussell mm-hmm. runs a great podcast. Yeah, there's a few. There's a few. Oh, right, Lex is a bit weird. I like him, but he's like, yeah, he's on it's the spectrum, weird, eh? <laughs> he's on the spectrum for sure. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. That's why I like him. <laughs> I can just level with it. Mm. <laughs> I can let go. It's mad. But um, Andrew Tate, you like him? I Would think, you call his thing a podcast? Or whatever he does. Nah, he's not a pod. He's a guest. He's the world's most famous guest. He's not a podcaster. What's that thing he's always streaming? I guess you could call it streaming, but it was. It's him and his brother always talking together. I'm yeah. Like, what's that? That's I a... guess you could call it a podcast, but it was always streaming. You mm. know what I mean? Streaming's just different because streaming's. Uh, it's more like just recording yourself sitting down. Podcasting, you're kind of trying to entertain but yeah. i feel like he wasn't trying to entertain in the beginning he was mm. just doing it but yeah what do i think of andrew tate he's the top g bro yeah I know, bro. <laughs> I know. he's the top g yeah massive fan of andrew tate i listened to a couple of him today and that's why i learned that he recently went muslim yeah 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 i think he's a sick cunt obviously i think that in the beginning he he threw a lot of shade at shit to get people's attention. Mm. He was saying some fucked up shit, even I thought it was fucked up. And I fucking, I'm pretty fucking hard to fucking throw <laughs> shit fucked up. I knew what he was saying was a bit fucking controversial. But he's turned it all around in my uh, opinion. He has some good points on a lot yeah, of stuff. Yeah, great though. points. Great points. Yeah. But he, did see, he delivers them terribly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He delivers them terribly. Yeah. yeah, but I feel like he's turned it around a lot. Mm. I feel like he's turned it around a lot, that's for damn sure. Yeah. Bro, I want to get money much. like that, bro. I, I, he was talking about how he turned down like fifty million dollar crypto deals and shit. Fuck. Yeah, just because he didn't believe in what they were doing, he didn't want people to like lose money on him and shit. Mm. And I'm thinking fifty million, you can all go broke if someone gives me <laughs> fifty million, bro. Oh, I sell myself for that. That's all right. <laughs> I'll do whatever. Yeah, hard. Ah, oh, good boy, bro. Fifty everyone. mil, fuck. Fifty mil. I As if you're turning down that bag. Bro, you know the Powerball was 160 million last mm. week? What would what would you do if you won 160 million? I knew. I, I thought about it. I thought about it. I wonder what you'd do. Straight up. If yeah. I found out... Okay, so here's, here's the thing. I wake up. I don't know I've won yet. Mm-hmm. I'm at work. I find out at work, I'm punching the closest cunt. <laughs> Whoever is the closest cunt to me, I'm fucking <laughs> dropping him, rocking his shit, bro. <laughs> And then I'm fucking shit up on the job. Even some like clean up walking by. I don't give a fuck. Someone's copping it on sight. The closest motherfucker to me is copping it. That's amazing. Nothing against you. You're copping it. <laughs> Would you throw in some bands or not? But leave him with whatever you got. Yeah. Eh? Just take whatever I got. Throw 10k on the floor. Yeah, fuck. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I bashed you. Keep all your tools. Keep the car. Keep whatever. <laughs> That's eh? it. Yeah. I'd fucking just hand my keys to the closest <laughs> worker that works with me. Yeah. Give this back to the boss, oh. and I'll start breaking shit everywhere, <laughs> fucking shit up. People <laughs> muscles. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. You guys can have it. That's mad. And I'll take off into the sunset, bro. <laughs> <laughs> never see me again. No In one what? Ever You're see just me giving again. off the car. What are you gonna do? You gotta get an Uber. You gotta fucking, catch a bus. What's what's the Uber Deluxe? The... Oh, XL. Yeah. No, XL? Uber no, Black. Uber Black. Yeah, yeah, Uber Black. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uber Black straight to the airport. Oh, airport. You go straight to the airport. Straight to the airport. Yeah. And where would you go? 
Ah, uh, probably a yeah. Thailand for yeah. beer, to be honest. <laughs> for a <my. laughs> For a I'm about for a while. Oh, I'll you go there. holidays to Australia. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, you know, just get the crazy out of the way, like, fast. Mm, true. Because I know, I'm, I'm not going to be smart with the money. <laughs> yeah. Go crazy for a while. How long do you reckon it would take to blow a million dollars in Thailand, realistically, for you, if you just want 160 million of them? Well, a million a week, I reckon. A week? Oh, I reckon I can do it I reckon week, I'm buying out the private villa. Or a whole hotel. Whole hotel, I was just thinking that. Whole hotel? Yeah. I'm booking it out, bro. All yeah. 100 floors of the Kane. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll go to the tattoo studio, pay for every artist to clear their week. Oh. I'm like, I don't care what bookings you got, here's all this money. Every artist? Every artist. Oh. Every artist tattooing me at once. <laughs> that is gold. That is gold. Full body suit in like eight minutes, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 And then, uh, Go train in Thailand, mm-hmm. get humble again, mm-hmm. have some people bash me, mm-hmm. come back to Australia. Yeah. <laughs> they might let you win. Nah, 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 <laughs> I've got to get humble again, you know, once yeah. I've got that money, that's some fuck you money. Oh yeah. Then that's come back that's to not Australia fuck you money, and, uh, that's the fuck off money. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, I'd come out here and live a happy life. Yeah. I, I tell you what, uh, if I do, if I won 160 million, I was in the same situation, if I was, a, if I was driving to work, and then just happen to fucking just check in at a fucking news agency, Crash scan my car. card, <laughs> scan my thing, 160 million Powerball. I'd get back in the car and I'd drive straight to a fucking dealership with the car. While I'm on the way, I'd wire the money for the car to stole. <laughs> I'd just send it straight to the boss. <laughs> and then I reckon, what's the first car you buy? What's the first car? You gotta buy a car here. You gotta buy a car. Wow. I reckon. There's a fucking, there's a McLaren in the city. There's mm. one in the, in the city. That'd be hectic. But I reckon I'd buy a, like an old school, like a Mustang or something actually. Yeah. Old school Mustang. Probably drop 250k on a fucking hectic GT or something. Mm. That'd be mad. Anyway, I reckon I would honestly, and I'm not just saying this because it's on the podcast, but genuinely I'd give out a million dollars to 50 of my, 50 of the people I know. Million dollars. Fuck. Yeah. Everyone in my family gets five. Oh. Immediate family. So there's four of them. And then I'd have like what? I'd have 100, I'd have 60, 70 million dollars left. Fuck. I'm buying a helicopter. First thing I'll buy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> helicopter. I'm learning how to fly a helicopter. Yeah. 100%. Uh, it's going to happen. You just paid a parcel to test, say. Eh? <laughs> yeah. yeah, send me oh, up. Fuck it. Uh, here. Send me Give me the up. license. <laughs> yeah. 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 Is there anything crazy you'd buy, like a helicopter? Nah. No. I don't think I'd buy a helicopter. I'd just buy a nice car. A car. Buy a house in case I fuck what up. What about a boat, like a crazy boat? I don't really like boats, to oh, be honest. Really? Boat. Yeah. I'd just get a nice car, build the best gym in the world. Yeah, you could, with a hundred and sixty yeah. million. <laughs> fuck. I've always thought this. Imagine buying a house because you just want a crazy amount of money. Big, big house, mm. and using it as a paintball arena. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. That'd be what's up. Bro, you know what you do as well? You'd never do laundry again in your life. Yeah. I'm... You wake bro. up, throw your clothes out, yeah. buy some new ones. Yeah. Fuck, bro. Bro, I'd never clean up again. I'd fucking just be paying maids. Yeah. I'd have like 20 maids, I reckon. Mm. Yeah, you'd never cook. You'd never clean. Yeah. Bro, you'd never do nothing. You'd never do nothing. Would you even drive? Would you just get a driver? Oh, no, I'd still drive. If I got, a, like, a mad car, I'd still drive. I guess a little bit you'd want to, but then what if you get traffic? You know what I mean? Imagine sitting in traffic and you went for 160 No, miles. but, hey, if you got that money, you're not driving in peak hour times. What time would you drive? Whenever you want. Oh, yeah, I guess. Like you're not going to be driving on the way to work yeah, in true. fucking traffic. You're driving while everyone's at work you still. You wait till 11 or something like that, Yeah. Hey? Yeah, it's a good point. It's a mad point. The mayor point. I know that the traffic is traffic all day, bro. The only time it's not traffic is when I'm driving to work and driving at no, but night. You're going like to places that are high traffic areas, like industrial areas and that. That's why. Yeah. Well, I'm like Liverpool, yeah. Campbelltown, shit like that. City. I guess there's always gonna be traffic, shit like that. But I guess if you would, you stay in Sydney? I think I would. Yeah. yeah. I, honest, I don't think I'd ever leave. I'd probably oh, yeah. like be somewhere else for a couple of years, but I think yeah, Sydney's home. Sydney's mate. home. Yeah. Sydney's home. Family, I mean, I've friends. been all over Australia. Yeah. I was fucking, this place is home. Yeah. Did you like, did you work in Melbourne ever? Yeah. Yeah? Did you, was it like the same or not? 
Because nah. I've been in Melbourne a lot. Nah, I don't really like to Melbourne. But I've never stayed more than a week mm. yeah, in Melbourne. Nah, Melbourne's not for me, bro. Melbourne's a bit weird, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I liked it. I think it's alright, but we're going soon, actually. Mm. In like bro, you know what was weird in Melbourne? The Somalis running the kebab shop. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah, they're everywhere, what bro. The fuck? They're everywhere. They run the whole fucking <laughs> Melbourne, bro. They're just running the kebab shop. Bro, they run the Melbourne. I'm like, why are the Somalis running the kebab shop? I was like, we're the Turkish men. <laughs> yeah. Nah, bro. That's a fucking Somali state, but I can help. Yeah, you made me think of something before with the fact that you'd all, you'd get changed and you throw your clothes out. My favorite fucking thing is new socks and your undies. Straight yeah. up, best feeling in the world. Mm. So I have a new pair of socks every week, and I've yeah. done it for like the last year and a half, two years. That's a fuck. That's a fuck. <laughs> These fridges pay too much, bro. These fridges yeah. pay too much. Fuck out of here. Bro, trust me, it's an it's the best way to spend your money. Every like three months, yeah. I'll go buy thirty pairs of socks. Thirty. Like, yeah, I'll buy, bro. My drawer is full. You can take as many as you want. Oh <laughs> yeah, yeah. chuck it, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take bro. as many as you want. I'll, I'll be there'll probably be 10 unopened beds in there bro, all my work socks got holes in them oh, like, all the socks no. I wear like to the gym and like going down that they're all good because I barely yeah. wear them yeah 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 and my work socks they're fucking thrashed bro it's like not even wearing socks bro you can't do that bro you gotta get new socks every every at least every fortnight get a new pair fuck what are you gonna spend a year 80 bucks 100 bucks to do it for a year it's not much at all and that's one time oh, i rock the stussy socks bro at work and that bro, i once i once bought like 20 pairs of stussy socks it cost me like 45 bucks and they last me hey. like mu- six months like, hey. to- yeah what are you buying them for 45 bucks bro, that many pairs? like fucking factory or cotton on or some shit mm-hmm. yeah but there i preach that to anyone else that fucking give it a try just go to the fucking kmart and just buy 30 40 pairs of black socks the best best thing you'll ever do in your life guys get best. your bag up before that um Doc the is a fridge and up. he's Don't uh worry about getting your bag up these fridges get a lot of money boys, <laughs> boys listen you're going to put money on sports bet this week. I know you're going to put money on sports bet this week. <laughs> and if you don't, you're going to put it in the pogies. All right, get off, stay off the nose beers. All right, drink oh, half no. as much beer, do something, get yourself some socks. But I've already dropped 300 on the weekend for the bets. <laughs> And it's not even the weekend. I dropped it all on Wednesday. I was like, I can't wait to put these bets in. And I'll put them in early. For the UFC, eh? Yeah. The 281? 280. Is it oh, I don't know yeah. what number. Fuck, it has to be. I don't know anyone fighting on this card, eh? I mean, is he? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He's yeah. fighting. He's fighting. Um, he's got the... Is it not V? What's the last name of the other guy? Piera. Piera? Yeah. 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 Yeah, I love Izzy. He's a sick cunt. He's a sick cunt. Yeah, hard, hard. He was just here in Sydney, actually. He was. was he? He was in Culture Kings. I've seen a video. Mm. Yeah. Anyway, you know, New Zealand's got no Culture Kings too. How do you know it wasn't there? Nah, because the ads we get are from... The videos we get are from here. No. Yeah. Oz and New Zealand get the same ads, bro. Nah, not for Culture Kings. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. They're not gonna... They won't show you the stores inside New Zealand. Inside the stores. Yeah. Why? Why wouldn't they? Because we can't go in there. <laughs> Fuck you, man. It's just Culture Kings. <laughs> Why wouldn't they show you that in the New Zealand only? Even the stores all look the same. <laughs> no, they don't. Yeah, they're all designed the same with the, like, the fucking light up walls and that and the fucking DJ. Nah, nah, different, bro. Trust me. I'm going to have to fact check this. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Was Izzy, let's say, Israel. I don't think he was in here recent, bro. Israel Adesanya in Sydney. Let's have a look. Unless they got an American store now. Israel Adesanya called to Sydney suddenly. Izzy and his boss have scheduled a meeting in Sydney. Two days ago. He's, he's been in Vegas for like the last week, bro. So it says. Oh, New York, sorry. Not Vegas. Called to Sydney suddenly for a quick business trip. Oh, hang on. Well, when's that? Like four months ago? 2018. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, fuck. fuck this fucking stupid shit. Alright, maybe you're right. Yeah, just me, you're right. He's in training camp That's anyway. Just cut that out. <laughs> oh, yeah, all right. Well, just cut what you want, eh? Just cut what you want. I left it in. What a good tangent. I don't even know where we started to get to that. Yeah, fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> fuck no. Uh, so, what's your goals with the podcast? My goals, <clears throat> and I've said this about 150 times because it was originally going to be my intro, and I tried to film it, and I just thought it was cheesy as fuck, bro. I ended up not going with it. <clears throat> so. My goals for the podcast, yeah, fuck yeah. 
I'm gonna need that. My um, my goals are honestly, and this is how I tried to say my intro. I'd love to be able to get rich. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't. Yeah. It's obviously everyone's goal. If I could retire on podcasting, then that's hectic. That's if I could make the bag while I do it, yeah, bruh, that's Fuck. incredible. But if I can honestly just sit and have good conversations with the boys and meet new people, then that's, a, that's I'm I'm happy not to go any further than that. Yeah, yeah, that's I'm I'm happy with that. So that's how you know it's a passion, bro. It's, it's like, a passion. You know, it's the money doesn't really. It's, it's not the main objective. Nah, you know. It's not. <clears throat> More of a it's bonus. a hobby and it's my main career. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah. Uh, if, if you do uh, end up getting a bag off this, bro, you, you know, know what's up. You, you gotta put your boy on. You already know what's up, bro. You already know what's up. You already know bro, what's up. Bro, I'll just be a cleaner or something. <laughs> <laughs> you know, bro. Don't worry, bro. You can hire a cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> you already know what's up. But yeah, I guess, would you consider that to be a goal then? I don't know if I'm answering the question correctly because that's not really the goal. I guess the goal is to improve, the yeah. goal is to get better. Yeah, that's the goal. Mm. Be the number one podcast in Australia. Yeah, is the first goal. Australia first. Australia first. In the world. Um, which I think will happen, and I don't think it will take as long as I think it will. Yeah. I just might not have the views to back it up, but well, I'll still have what's the number the, um, one podcast. What's your timeline? You're thinking. I reckon in within two years, I'll comfortably. I reckon I could comfortably agree that I'll have the best podcast in Australia. Yeah. And I reckon I'll comfortably agree with it because everyone else will be saying. Yeah. Yeah. You I just might not have the views to back it up. I'll get you some viral moments. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yeah. Viral... Oh, you know right. what? You know what I'll do? What? I'm going to knock a cunt out, bro. <laughs> Next flight, I'm going <laughs> to yeah. knock him out. Yeah. Say some crazy oh, yeah. shit. As my... Get you the exclusive interview. <laughs> yeah. Talk my shit. Yeah. Call out everyone. Yeah. And then you can <laughs> post it. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Get you a viral moment. I love it. Gangster. You have a dream guest you'd like to have on? Oh, fucking great question, Khan. That is such a wide answer. All Because all the guests that I would love to get on that I don't know are in America. Mm. So in Australia, I guess my dream guest would be... I reckon it would be hectic to sit down with straight up with someone like John Howard would be hectic. Yeah. I'd, lo- I'd love to sit down with John Howard. Or Tony, even Tony Abbott, because I know we're not a political country here in Australia, but I genuinely think Tony Abbott was a very interesting person to have as our Prime Minister, that he just got fucking, he just got shit on, he just got shit on. He was kind of like the Donald Trump story of America. Bro, I know nothing about that cunt except he wears budgie smugglers. That's when I, see, that is exactly what I'm talking about. The same thing that happened to Donald Trump in America happened in Australia first with Tony Abbott. He yeah. was the greatest Prime Minister for Australia. He likes to drink piss with the boys. He spent, he's a volunteer firefighter. He's a volunteer lifeguard. Oh, he, yo. He's a fucking true blue Aussie. Yeah. And they wanted to kick him out of parliament to get someone else in. So they the media pushed and pushed and pushed on him being a weirdo for wearing bugly smugglers. So oh, everyone you know, that was, makes sense because he was wearing the fucking lifeguard yeah, hat while he was wearing it. He was a fucking lifeguard, bro. Oh, uh, they, top bloke and everyone put it on yeah, him like that. Yeah, they just they did the same thing that they did to Donald Trump. Yeah. It just happened here first. Right. The media just pushed on a narrative. Which I think would be interesting to hear his side of the story. I always think, I think that would be cool. Um, Fuck's that noise, bro. Sorry, I was shaking oh, my I fucking can't. zipper. <laughs> <laughs> I heard I it, it sounded know. like a nice little ring in my I ear. Is there a dog? <laughs> I thought there was a dog with a collar on. It's like Toby's back. <laughs> what? <laughs> sad, sad, sad cunt. Rip Toby. <laughs> well, bro, it's been, it's been long, can't, come on. <laughs> It's still my dog. It's still my dog, bro. Don't do that to me. I spent a long time. <laughs> bro, we're right. <laughs> Get over it. <laughs> Get over it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Hard question. Hard question. There's, so, there's too many people that I would love to sit down with. Mm. In an Australian culture, nah. Not really. Obviously, it'd be cool to no, meet the rappers. Say Andrew Tate or something. Nah, but I'm talking about Australia. America's a goal that I haven't decided whether I want to take over yet. Yeah. I'd have to move to America for that. I don't yeah. know if I want to leave home. Yeah, yeah. Or, you know, would be what about when someone comes on tour here, like Burt Kreiser, Tom Segura? Mm, yeah, yeah. That would be, that's a goal. Uh, you go. If you get Burt on here, oh yeah. my God, I can't. Yeah, I'm coming. Yeah. I'm, I'm co-hosting that one. <laughs> yeah, 100%. But I want to have a good laugh. Trust me, we're hiring a fucking, uh, a fucking penthouse for that podcast. Yeah. That's right. We're hiring a penthouse for that body. Yeah, all right. I'm gonna lock that in. Uh, when someone tours to Australia, like a like a uh, comedian. Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, you've had a TikToker on here recently. I have. Is it? You got any more? Coming yeah, on? yeah, yeah. There's a couple oh, more shit. coming. A couple more coming. I oh, lined so you... up. I lined up a couple. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. So it's, you are making moves. I'm making. I'm, I feel like I'm making moves. Yeah. I definitely am. I've got someone coming over in a couple of weeks. Actually, I'll tell you off camera. Yeah, because, yeah, yeah. Hold oh, on, I'll just cut it out. I'll just tell you now. Josh Saunders. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll... I'll sorry, everyone. You, you have to wait for the episode to come out. I'm excited for that because I've never met the bloke at all. I've just stumbled upon his Instagram. Yeah. And I'm just like, fuck. I genuinely think... I won't give much away, but I think in what he's doing, he has the potential oh. to be the, one of the greatest. Ah, uh, I wouldn't say greatest. You know, reckon? No. In Australia? In Australia. Definitely. Yeah, yeah definitely. Like, like here, bro. Definitely. Worldwide, no. Nah. Worldwide, so hard, nah. bro. Worldwide, so hard. No way. But, you know, I heard that guy's only been doing it for three years. Two years. Two years. Two years, yeah. Wow. Two years, and he's already, like, <sighs> up there. Wow. Definitely best here. Yeah, 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 yeah. But. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Overseas, come on, man. Them, overseas, overseas they've, they've been doing it all their life. They've been I mean, doing it for two years. I, want, be, I don't think of... When I think of all time, I think of Australia. I don't think of... Mm. It's hard for me to think of America because it's just so fucking far away from me. Yeah. I can't think of guests as an American guest because when am I going to have the opportunity to bump into that guy? Mm. Yeah, my brain's all local. What's your view count with this uh, TikToker? The, uh... My view count? Not as many as you think it would have. I thought... He didn't bring much traction? I'd say he probably did. I it just I reckon I lost traction in my fans because it's not because I kind of talk to all of the people I know about all the other people I know. Yeah. So people that haven't met you, I guarantee they knew who you were before they met you. Mm. And I know I know that you. If, if I bring up stories of other people, you'd be like, oh yeah, I know you've talked about that person yeah, before yeah. as well. So I kind of draw my own audience, and then having someone I didn't know on actually got me less views. Oh right. I reckon that's what happened. Oh, yeah. okay. I did get a few more subscribers and thank you. Thank you, Melody Warrior. I do appreciate it. I had a great time sitting down with you. But and, but views wasn't something I was trying to do. Yeah. I was just I was just genuinely happy that I got to meet him because I it just it was a great feeling too. Yeah. It was a great feeling sitting down with someone that I've been watching their TikToks for two years now. Did you get a bit starstruck or Nah, I didn't. I thought I would. Yeah. I thought I would. But I just I was a bit like I was nervous as fuck because I'm obviously meeting someone that I've been watching on my phone for like two years yeah but then in person i just realized like oh you're just one of the boys bro. yeah 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 <laughs> yeah yeah we've made like um famous people because yeah. cut the name about to say all right well, all right <laughs> fucking bo- oh yeah I've, I've, what did you mean? i ran into him in the car park right what I've, i ran my mouth so much told the boys so yeah. fuck this cunt <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and i see him it's on site what yeah, he did yeah. to my boy no it's not, <laughs> no we ain't having it yeah it was just me and him in the car park. He got out of his car, saw his fancy car. Walking, I was like, I ain't gonna do shit. I ain't gonna do shit. <laughs> what was this? What was this? This is in Wollongong and oh um, there was a fight night. Yeah, 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 yeah. Within the last couple of months, that was. Yeah. Well, wow. I was like, yeah, um, <laughs> I'm not coming to with what I said. I ain't doing none of that. That's crazy. That motherfucker here is a fucking solid boy, <laughs> bro. <laughs> Well, he, he was small, like short. Mm-hmm. Oh, fuck, he's wide, man. Oh, well. I was like, shit. That's mad. Oh, damn. It, got... is, it is weird meeting celebrities in real life, eh? Yeah. It is weird. I think about that a lot. Because we've met, I've met a few. I've met a few. And um, they're just normal cunts, bro. Mm. In your head, you think it's going to be so much crazier than it is. And then you sit down with him and it's like you're just, it's like you're meeting a new person at work. Mm. It's no different. Yeah. Uh, the first podcast I did with Moe Duwara was good because we he he taught me a lot about YouTube and shit. Yeah. The shame I fucked up and didn't record the whole thing, which you should tell your fucking story about too. Oh yeah. Yeah. Nah, yeah. that's that's. Nah. Don't worry about it. I was weird. All right, all right, all right, fine. fine. Ah, fuck, fuck it. If you want to tell you tell it. So, was it was before I started doing any episode day? Yeah. Before episode one, you called me and you said. Bro, I had a dream last night. I said, yeah, all right, another one of these dreams. Like, you know, you've had other dreams in the past where we've both been shot. You've had a whole bunch of crazy dreams. And then this time, like, nah, bro, like, seriously, I just seen the future. I said, all right, what happened? you like, you did a podcast with someone and the cameras weren't on. You did the whole thing. I said, who, 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 who? You're like, oh, I don't know. I can't tell who it was. 
all I can tell you is it was the first person you sat down with that you've never met before. It was the first person yeah. you've been planning to fucking do a podcast with. And it slipped my mind. I did not think about it ever again. The day I sit down with someone, I do the podcast, the cameras went on, bro. You fucking see in the future, bro. I gave you the warning. <laughs> you did. I gave you the warning. <laughs> and you fucked up still. Fuck. I had a, there was a moment there I could have changed your future. That was and crazy. You fucked it up. That was crazy. Bro. Do you do that often, realistically? Uh, it happens, but like, I don't know, it's weird. I can't really like say when it happens. Yeah. Except for that time, it was real, it was real, real clear. Wow. I was like, I better tell him because yeah, yeah, like yeah, it's yeah. something I can change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, I don't know. That's probably like the craziest one so far. That was crazy. You straight up just see into the future. You told me even even when you explained it to me, you know what it was weird. When you explained it to me, I didn't have this set up, but I imagined this set up. It's like yeah. you were feeding me the future. Oh shit! It was crazy, bro. And then it full happened in real life. Yeah, yeah, so I guess mediums might be real, bro. Yeah, bro. I think they are real, man. You reckon they are? Some, some, man. Maybe you're, you're one of them, there, bro. That's real. You're one of them. No, <laughs> maybe I should um, learn how to use it and start charging people, yes, bro. Yes. Make a bag of it. That did just pop into my head, too. <laughs> yeah. I'll just feed bullshit to everyone, though. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, you're going to be rich. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're going to marry the man of your dreams. <laughs> You gotta let them know, like, if you're generous, if you're really generous over the next 12 hours, you're gonna be rich. Yeah. And at the end, ask for a tip. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. What was the question? I don't even know. <laughs> oh, dream guess. Dream guess was the dream last guess. question. Sweet. So, what's your goals outside of podcasting? Goals outside of podcasting? That's a great question. And that's not something that I've seen far enough into the future too. In my career, because um, I do supermarket refrigeration, it's a very, very small community. Refrigeration in general is super small, mm. which fucking reminds me. Did you hear about what just happened with the fucking cool room that collapsed last month? No. So I didn't bring it up now because I found out the full story today. But for the last month, everyone's been getting emails, especially from like people who do work for supermarkets. Yeah. About new safety procedures with cool rooms. Yeah. Because the company was working in um, Weatherall Park on oh, no Cavasini Place, which is right next to the factory that I used to do the work for. Yeah. And the cool room collapsed with five employees on top of it. Yeah. Two workers underneath inside the cool room. Wow. They fell like fucking five, six meters or whatever it was mm. with three tons of material while carrying an 800 kilo unit. What? Well, the whole roof came down, landed on Why are they on carrying that on, on the crew roof like anyway? They're just fucking macho it, bro. They're just going here. Bro, that shit is flimsy. Why are you even carrying that bro, up there? Don't ask me. Don't ask me. But they ha technically, they haven't done anything wrong. There's no standard loss. There loss. is. No, there's not. The standards on your weight distribution on it. Weight distribution. 160 per square meter. So you can't install... No, nah, 160 isn't right. Yeah. No, it's not. Because yeah. your blower, when it's iced up, is going to weigh about two times. It, it will. Yeah, and you don't hang it from the roof. Yeah, you blow up. No, you, you hang it from the steel beams in the roof, not on the cooling panel. No, your cooling panel. Bro, you're a dodgy car. That's even supermarket respects, but a supermarket. Every respects. everyone I've been on, a big they got steel you're beams. Right. They put steel beams in structural. Oh, they put them on top yeah. of the cooling. So it's part of the build. I did not know that. They put steel beams across where every um thing's going, mm -hmm. and then they bolt like long book of rods. Mm -hmm down to hang the unit well i've seen what they which is what we've done we've chained oh. it over the beam yeah we've you must use that beam. square thing hey you use that square thing and you bolt into the square on top of the panel no 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 that's they're, they're, they're shitty ones they're shitty ones oh. I've, I've i've hung the biggest fuckers the six seven oh, eight fans. mushroom caps no 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 not mushroom <laughs> caps not something that big you have the booker rod come through yeah. and then you chain the booker rod you chain the fucking thing over the beam above the RSJ. I've done that. Anyway, these cunts, I guess you were right, are doing something wrong. Yeah. I didn't know it was 160 kilos per square meter, which to me sounds. That's why, um, so yeah, small. everything you install on top has to be. Then you notice, like, everything has got rods coming from the roofs. Uh, I guess you do industrial, but. Yeah. Commercial's not as big. You must be talking bigger than me, bigger mm. size. 
Because commercial isn't that big. You wouldn't. You would never need to do that. I think this must have been just a really shitty build quorum. I really. Oh, think. I've seen some shitty ones. Up. Yeah. <laughs> I, <reckon that's laughs> I was working at this factory with this old cunt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's walking across the courtroom in front of me, and there's this one spot's rusted and <laughs> fucking like collapsing. How did you know? I'm like, oh, dude, oh, dude, that's fucking dodgy. I'm, like, yeah. I'm not going there. Yeah. Starts walking. <laughs> And he had an accent, right? It was so funny. He's walking and he starts collapsing. And he's like, oh, shit, shit, shit. He's like panicking. Panicking. And he's like, Devil, go away, go away. I'm already like, way back. And he's like, shit, shit, shit. And he's still going through. I'm like, come, come back. What are you doing? Why are you still going through it? <laughs> he's trying to get through it. Yeah. That's hectic. That car was going to collapse, bro. Well, that must have been similar to this build, bro. Because five employees fell down, including the owner of the business. Wow. Oh, I don't know if I should say it online. I'm going to say what it is because it's not like I got it through secret information, yeah. right? Which I did. But I also seen it if you zoom in close enough on the shirt, on the photo, on the news. Oh, yeah. So I can safely say it was cold line refrigeration. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Me. The fucking courtroom collapsed. Two people who work in the factory underneath it, yeah. they crushed them. They, they landed on all the machinery and everything. People broke their foot. People broke their leg, whatever. Someone got into an induced coma. Oh. First year apprentice, induced coma oh, from Oh, no way. So now, no. like, there's the whole industry is getting emails, safety precautions. You can't store shit on top of cool rooms anymore, this yeah. and that. Crazy, bro. But it was going to happen eventually. Mm. You know what I mean? It was going to happen somewhere. Bro, cool rooms are the dodgiest thing ever. Yeah. Like, working on top of them. Yeah. Especially, like, the big ones I've worked at. <laughs> yeah. The roof is, like, more than 10 meters. I always thought, bro, if this shit collapsed, I'm gone. Yeah, you're dead. You're I'm dead. fucking gone. You're dead. There has to be some kind of, like, you should have to wear a harness up there connected to the roof, eh? Yeah. You should. They should install something. Yeah. And you know what makes it worse? Like, you have to climb over the edge of a scissor lift to get on top. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, the rare times we got the scissors with the front door, we just oh, lay yeah, the front yeah. door yeah. over and then you walk safely. I've never across. had one of them, bro. You, you always I've climbed always, over? I've, I've had scissor lifts and a meter before the top. Yeah. You have to go <laughs> yeah, you have climb up to the top. <laughs> yeah. 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 Them dodgy ones. Dodgy shit. How do we get to that? We are talking about, no, let's let's get talking about goals cool. outside of podcasting. So... It, because our trade is so small and everyone knows each other, like when that story comes, everyone across the industry hears about it straight away. The supermarket industry is even smaller, so there'd be, call it, within 50 people, Australia-wide, that everyone knows each other. And there's two sets of brothers. So I won't say who they are, but everyone knows who these brothers are in the industry. And my goals outside the podcast is for me and my brother to be one of them. Everyone in Australia okay. knows who we are in the industry. Yeah. Yeah, the Doxy brothers. Uh, he is what he's still doing trade no nah, no nah, he was doing electrical and then he he quit because when he was working at the last company i was working at which i told him was fucking good idea because it was just not working out i'm trying not to bad mouth the company but it wasn't a suitable for him and then now the new company i'm at i told him day one my brother's gonna work with me and they said yes so he's gonna start in january oh yeah sure. finally be a fridgey instead Fridgy of a spot instead of, nice. yeah Cause that's been the plan for a while. We're gonna take over together. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. damn. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, me and the busy Dutchie brothers. Bro. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Now I gotta get him in the magazine. Yeah. <laughs> so w- would you give that all up for this? If the opportunity came, this in you got a thrown a bag. In heartbeat, bro. Yeah. In a heartbeat. Even though I love my job, it's so fun. I'm good at it. I get, I get, I get recognition, which is a great feeling. When you're told you do a good job, it makes mm. you fucking love it so much more. Oh, no kind of tells me I do a good job. <laughs> well, fucking, maybe you should work a bit harder. What do you mean? Joke, joke, joke. I told you a good job the other day. You even showed me what you did in your house. I was like, ah, oh, oh, good job, right? Yeah. Fuck it. You don't tell me no one says it. No, it's, it's, that's the boys. You know, <laughs> yeah, it's true. different. It's yeah, different. That's standard. Yeah. <laughs> Family love. Yeah. Yeah, and that's one goal. Obviously, I'd like to get a hole in one and go. Oh, another yeah. goal. Give that hey, a um, heartbeat. Try and get a hole in one on the putty first. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that he took 20 shots. <laughs> yeah. yeah, bullshit, bro. I get them in every day. You come over. I took what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There was nine balls. <laughs> yeah. It's hectic having this little putting green in here, eh? 
Mm. It's actually egg big. But I didn't think he'd fit it in, to be honest. It just does. It just yeah. does. But he made yeah. it work. It's about 20 mil too big. Mm. Yeah, it's mad. Do, right. do, do you believe in any crazy theories? Oh, yes, cunt. What's with these questions, bro? He asked me the questions that I always want to ask people. I just don't know how to get to them. I believe in every single crazy theory. That- <laughs> <laughs> Everything. Every single Everything. one. Every single one. We talked about it last time, the ice wall. The ice wall was just something I'll never forget. Even Flat Earth. I can't say I'm convinced about Flat Earth, but I, oh, I want it to be real more than anything. Yeah. It's a fucking great conspiracy. What are some other really good ones? Obviously, all the main popular ones that everyone else would already obviously know about as well, I'll bring up. Moon Landing. The video is obviously hoax. Mm. Obviously hoax. Oh, bro, what about all the fucking NASA videos? They're all fucking... All fake. They're all bro, fake. Bro, I was like looking at them like, what the yeah. fuck? That shit's CGI. It like, shows you when it fails. And you know what's crazy? You can't find it when you Google it, but you see them on TikTok. Mm. You know? That's crazy. Yeah, the people in the space station, and they're floating around with the fucking planet behind them, and then yeah. it cuts to the green screen, and mm. then it cuts back. Crazy, bro. It's all fake. Yeah. It's amazing. Just fucking, this is bullshit everywhere. Uh, I'm trying to think. You know uh, what? It, like being Elon would be you're a good position because then I guess you know the truth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. that can't can just send anything to space. Yeah, yeah. Send his own telescope. He mm-hmm. can search for the ice wall. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you reckon they're like Do he's reckon... gonna get silenced or anything? Nah, because he if there was an ice wall, he'd already know about it. He'd already be in it. Yeah, he's in on it. Yeah, he'd have to be in on it already, for yeah. sure, for sure. What a hero of mine he is. I wish he had a podcast. I could have said him as my one of my yeah. inspirations. Elon's a hero of mine. What about he just finalised buying Twitter? Mm. Fuck. Not only is the man... Not only is the man made an electric car, which was so hard to do, but he sent one to space on one of his rockets that are reusable. Bro, tell him, send me the footage of the car in space. I need to <laughs> suss out the earth if it's flat or not. <laughs> you analyse it? Yeah. yeah. Tell him, uh, upload a live stream. Elon, upload a live stream. I know you got cameras on that car, bro. Yeah. That's yeah, in yeah. orbit. We need to see. He does. He has a, he has a 24-hour one. You can actually look it up. Oh, I swear. You can actually look it up right swear. now, actually. What's, what do you... If anyone look up, look up um, Elon Musk's Tesla in space stream. I'm pretty sure 24-hour streams. It might have only been for a short period of time, but I'm pretty sure it's for, for ongoing. But if, like, you need to know of Flat Earth, like... True. That shit's gonna tell ya. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, not only is he doing that, but he's building batteries big enough to fucking power entire states. He's making... Do you know, do you know he's building, he's working on an underground transit for smart cars? Tunnels, uh, roads underneath our current roads to avoid traffic. Where all cars go on, then they're all like part of a production line where they drive themselves. Did you know that? No. There'll be no crashes, there'll be no traffic, no slowing down, no braking, nothing. You just enter the main road and your car just kind of goes. Like it just drives itself at full speed. What the That's fuck? crazy. What the fuck? Oh, that's like, um, at some of these factories I've worked at, they've got robots. They drive themselves, I'll bro. See you like, I'll pallet see you robots, one. they pick up pallets yeah. and drive around. I'm like, I'll see you one. It's fucked. I'll see you one. I worked at the IGA Metcash ones, and I had yeah. it there. It was fucking crazy. Yeah. Self-driving forklifts. All day, they, do, they don't they do stop. They mm. just go all day. Fuck. The future is nigh, bro. Bro, this shit looks fake. Let me see. Look at that. Yeah, but that's it. That's it. That's fake, bro. It does look fake. I do agree with you. I'll put a link in the description to anyone that wants to check it out. Elon Musk's 24-hour live stream of the Tesla that he strapped to a rocket. If And if you didn't know this, yes, he did. He strapped a Tesla to a rocket and sent it to space to, st- to stay in our orbit forever just because he fucking can. That's why I love Elon Doesn't Musk. stuff in orbit come down eventually? It would eventually, but fuck, imagine how long it would take. Yeah. Imagine how long that would take. Oh, this shit is fake as fuck. Come on. Nah, I reckon if you sent something into the right position, it would never come back. It would just stay in a perfect orbit. Come on, bro. This shit's fake. Nah. Don't do my boy Elon like that. Nah, come on, bro. <laughs> I need to know. Elon, come on, bro. Hook, hook us up. We need to know if the Earth's flat and there's ice wall business. Oh, I tell you a craziest conspiracy that I think could be true. The, the Anunnaki. 
Oh, yeah. That has to be the best conspiracy, for sure. Mm. That one's crazy. For those who don't know, the Anunnaki, which you probably do, is a probably. ancient... No one can't stand this shit, bro. Yeah, we can't. everyone surely no. knows. I'm sure everyone well, knows. Well, we can't. I reckon 90% of people would know. Mm. You don't reckon? Nah. <laughs> Alright, nah. well, then just start. For those who do know, you're with the 1%. Anunnaki is a mythological ancient mm. being that came to Earth that helped. There's multiple versions of it, but they bred human DNA. No, they bred the native DNA, like monkeys and chimps, with their own DNA, the Anunnaki, which was created in human life, which is what kickstarted evolution. That's what created the giant um, bridge between the evolution of the human skull the humanoid skull because there's a big period where they don't know how it just drastically grew in size when they look back at skeletons and they wreck that's one of the theories as to why it could have happened they genetically did it which is why in egypt it would explain how they had such crazy technology to build things like the pyramids and there's also carvings all over the walls inside of egypt explaining the Anunnaki living amongst them, you know, mm. they're giant beings and they're all sitting on their laps and right. praising them. And the hieroglyphs got the fucking spaceships and that. Yeah, they actually had spaceships in the hieroglyphics. Like, one of the hieroglyphics actually has a depiction of our solar system. Have you seen that one? No. It's got a sun in the middle. This is carved oh, fucking yeah. 40,000 years ago, whatever they reckon mm. it was. There's a sun in the center. And then there's also, a, like, what is it, nine other circles around it. Mm. Some small, some big. And they are in scale to what our planets are in our solar system. So the closest one being Mercury, then Venus, then Earth, then Mars, Jupiter being the biggest, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. And I think maybe Pluto was in there too. But they're drawn on a fucking picture in scale size in comparison to each other and in distance away from each other. So they knew that the Earth was we were in this fucking constant rotation. Yeah. When they thought that the Earth was fucking flat until like 400 years ago or some bullshit. Like, how the fuck did they possibly know that? Mm. They thought that you drive a boat in recent history to the edge of the Earth and fall off it. Yeah. And then these cunts knew that we were doing this. Like, there had to have been aliens, in my opinion. Had mm. to have been aliens. Crazy shit. Yeah. Crazy, bro. I just, yeah, fucking ancient knowledge, bro. I got to know, bro. The way, like, everything happened. Hey, have you seen um Schultz's joke? Which one? About the pyramids. Oh, and he's so like, um, he was saying, like, everyone questions how the pyramids in Egypt were built. And he's like, this is how you know Mexicans are the best workers in the world. <laughs> There's pyramids in Mexico, and no one questions how them motherfuckers were built. <laughs> that is so true. That is so true. I heard recently that there are actually, like, multiple pyramids built all over the world. So you got them in Mexico, as you said, and there might be some in, like, Peru and all other countries like this. Egypt, obviously. But there's multiple of them, all built the exact same kind of way. But they all follow around the planet on the equator. You know, mm. have you seen that one? Yeah. Like, what the fuck is that, bro? You know, the Egyptian pyramids as well line up with the star constellations above them yeah. perfectly. Yeah. The they fuck? are in perfect width as they are height, and I think the in from point to point, if you measure it in miles, it's the same decibel to like the hundred no the tenth decibel to the speed of light or some bullshit it's uh, i'm gonna fact i'm gonna look it up right now yeah it is crazy the pyramid fucking facts are crazy how do you think they were built giants oh uh, aliens oh dude i have no fucking idea how they could have been built it would have had to have been in a force that we don't yet understand mm. you know what i mean some kind of Anti-gravity force. Mm. You know what I mean? You, there's beams in the pyramid that are so fucking big that are placed on top of other things so perfectly that we wouldn't be able to lift them today with cranes. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> and we can lift up bridges, bro. Yeah. <laughs> we can lift up bridges. Crazy what about, pyramid um... facts, speed of light. This is, this is the thing I was trying to say. So... Is the Great Pyramid of Giza's location related to the speed of light? 
The latitude of the pyramid in decimal degrees can match the sequence of numbers expressing the speed of light if you look hard enough. Uh, this is just this is trying to explain. So it's to the it's to the degrees, it's twenty nine point nine seven nine two four five eight north, and the speed of light is expressed as two nine nine seven nine two four five eight meters per second. It's exactly the same, and it's two hundred nine nine million numbers long. Oh. They've and that's just one coincidence of mm. of hundreds and hundreds of coincidences. Coincidence, or is it made that way? Oh, well, how many times is a coincidence coincidence till yeah. it becomes a fucking put there on purpose? That's the real question. Mm. Uh, do you think it's possible that we're looking for something that can be explained easily? Or do you reckon there's no chance it can be explained easily? All right, if we can't do it, replicate it today. That's true. You know. If we can't replicate it today. Do you like the idea that they reckon there was an ancient civilization that was more technically advanced than us? Yeah, I think that's cool. I think that's cool too. Do you think it's possible though? Because I don't know if I think it's possible. I think it's possible. You think it's possible? Yeah. But then, what happened to all the stuff? <laughs> all the stuff? <laughs> yeah, like what happened to all the stuff? Like, Bro, they're the, all dead. No, they're all stuff, the stuff, like the stuff, like the, oh. the fucking laptops and shit. Yeah. Like what happened to the... Well, she, they reckon she the gets pyramids... destroyed over time. Yeah, but do you reckon everything would break down like that? Over, yeah. Uh, call it 100,000 years? Yeah. Do you reckon your phone, your iPhone would? Yeah, our phones won't be the same thing in 100,000 years. Fuck, that's a great question, Mark. Do you reckon it would? But what about clothing and shit? Surely things would stay over 100,000 years. Bro, our clothes don't last a lifetime. What do you mean? Our yeah, because you wear them. <laughs> <laughs> what, you think the motherfuckers weren't wearing their clothes? But what if you took your shirt off and you threw it on the ground? How long before it disappears? I don't know, 100 years. 100 years? I don't mean like some fucking gun stole it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I mean like a disintegrated. He stole it, bro. It's gone in the next hour. <laughs> Come on, steal it. I've seen this other video. I'm going to have to put a link down in the description. And I'm, I'm going to send it to you as well. It was about, um, it was explaining that if you took an apple mm -hmm. and you place it inside a perfect box that could withstand, that, that could withstand time, right? Eventually, the apple would get moldy and get rotten and deteriorate. Yeah. And according to the mathematical laws of physics, eventually it's going to de decompress itself so much that the dust is going to start to evaporate and turn back into gases and carbon and that carbon is going to turn back into something else and that's going to turn into something else and eventually it's going to become a hot flaming ball of energy mm. and then eventually that hot boiling flaming ball of energy will turn into a ball of light and then that will transform into like literally a mini universe inside of it and then over time, that will go through an infinite number of possibilities of what it will turn into next. Mm. Literally our universe, any other possible universe, and a fucking uh, a plasma, an a, a atom, a neutron, a proton, it will turn into everything. And eventually, if you leave it in there enough times, it will form itself back into an apple. Uh, <laughs> yeah. This video explained it really well, which yeah. is why everyone just click on it. The link's in the description. But <clears throat> while you're there, I'm going to say it for the first time. Give this video a like. Yeah. <laughs> I can feel good, bro. I yeah. feel good. No, it's here. Yeah. yeah, get them on. Subscribe. <laughs> Subscribe. Yeah, I don't know what you're doing. The button's literally right there. I know you can see it. Hit it. Show your boy some love. Damn, bro. I don't even know if I've subscribed. To oh, my, my G, bro. My G. I don't know if I've done you dirty like that. I reckon you have, bro. Uh, I reckon you just fucking forgot. Let's, uh, let's have a look. Let's check it. You're like, what's this channel called again? <laughs> what is it called? <laughs> Find it, bro. That's what it's called. Oh, shit. I haven't subscribed. Oh. Sad cunt. Subscribed right now. You heard it here, folks. You know you got to do the same thing. If Damo hasn't done anything from episode one, I know you motherfuckers are still looking at that button. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, bro, come on. Don't do him dirty. Don't do him Don't fucking do him dirty. dirty. like Damo does, bro. Don't do that. Damn, bro. Uh, what about the um, Many Worlds theory? Many Worlds theory is in like the kind of like a multiverse theory where we're living yeah. with each other. Yeah, there's like. I reckon that is 100% to be true. 100% mm. to be true. 
I like how I, I like how I say things like a hundred percent to be true. Yeah, <laughs> but but it's know. Like, I have no fucking idea yeah. how to get anywhere. Mm. So how do I know if something's true or not? But it would make sense to a lot of weird shit, like a lot of dreams that you have, a lot of gut feelings. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. I do, I do get that feeling a lot. A lot of the times, I'll think things have happened and they haven't happened. Mm. You know what I mean? Like I'll be talking to someone about something that. They have no idea what the fuck I'm talking about. And I thought we've already had this conversation yeah. yesterday. But maybe another version of me in this conversation, you know? Yeah. You believe in it? Many Wells theory? I reckon. I yeah. think so. Like, yeah. there's got to be something with that, like, mm. intuition that I get. Like, mm. how I warned you about the podcast. Like, yeah. That makes sense. You know? Like, how the fuck is that? How was that? How did that happen? Like, can't I can't explain. explain. Right? I don't know. Can't be explained. I don't know. I gave you the warning. You've seen this shit happen. What the fuck? How? Man. What the fuck? All right, here's a question for you. Would you like to know the answers to everything? Yeah. Or would you like to be unsure? What's what better? Mean? Give me the answers. Yeah, but imagine you had the answers to everything already. Yeah. Do you reckon anything would ever be interesting ever again? Nah. Nah. So don't you think it's fun not knowing the answers and trying to figure them out? I suppose. <laughs> I just thought about that now. I was just thinking, fuck, I'd love to know, and then it hit me like, would I? Yeah. I guess <laughs> if you know, I, there's like no point. Know, I wouldn't love to know. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah. So maybe it's a good thing that we can't fucking know Is, the answers. Yeah. Yeah. Is um anything weird ever happened? Like, oh, like to do with this stuff? Like intuition-wise? In, yeah, intuition mm, wise or question. I want to say yes, but oh, uh, wouldn't be able to think of them. I have way. If we're gonna talk about fucking other worlds, then yes, a hundred percent. One time when I was tripping on acid, yeah, it was the first time I did it, and I was in my mate's room. To there was four of us eventually. Then there was three of us, and I won't say who, but I know you're listening. It was a great time. It was... They were, what what happened was, is they would ask me, all right, what do you want to do? And they were trip-sitting me. They've done it before. They're looking after me. I've never taken a answer before. And they say, all right, what do you want to do? And then I think, oh, what do I want to do? And then the reality came to me, whatever I choose to do, we're going to do. And then mm. I could see into the future of, like, what if I chose to do this? And then I could see how long it would take for us to complete this task or whatever. Yeah. And I decide, no, I don't want to do that. I'd think of something else. And this is happening microseconds. I'm thinking of a million things. And then eventually, like, I'm saying, oh, I don't know, I don't know. You guys decide. I just got freaked the fuck out really hard. Yeah. Anyway, they start playing a video game, Naruto, and they're saying, do you want me to show you how to play? And then, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I realize I see into the future again. I'm going a day into the future, a month, a year. I'm going 10, 15 years into the future, seeing how my life would be if I learned how to play this game, mm. how long it would take for me to be the best in the world, all this shit. And then eventually I realized how far I am in the future and i got to come back. So I come all the way back. I enter myself again in the pr- present state and I start falling backwards. Yeah. And then I start remembering what I was doing a minute ago, 10 minutes ago, an hour ago, a week yeah. ago. <clears throat> and I'm falling back so hard. I'm literally getting lost in my own mind. And then I kind of remember what it was like being a fucking kid, a toddler, a baby. And then I kind of, it was, so it's hard to explain, but I kind of remembered what it was like to not be born. Yeah. And then from that point, I just completely feel like I had like what I called an ego death, which is probably what the term is. I just hear other people say it. But I had to fucking remind myself who I was, mm-hmm. which I did. I eventually came back. But I was no longer in the room with the boys anymore. I was a homeless person, literally under a bridge with two other homeless people around a fucking fire, probably collecting fucking beans, making hobo soup. And we were just telling each other stories of different acid trips we've had. Yeah. And I knew these people were meant to be my two mates that I was with. But I realized in that moment, no, I've always been this homeless person. Oh, what the fuck? And and then I kind of like really, I, I felt like I was there for like five minutes in yeah. my head until I really, really thought about it. And I thought, no, no, I'm pretty sure I was actually this other person. Yeah. And then I got back to being me. And I genuinely think to this day, I swapped trips with that cunt. I reckon we swapped oh, stories back. And I'm it, like, that. that's what made me believe there's a fucking other world. I'm yeah. About. Yeah. And that 
freaked the fuck out of me. Right? <laughs> First, that, I could never do that shit. Yeah, bro. yeah. Reckon you could do it? Nah. It's sometimes it's pretty intense, bro. Nah, bro. It gets intense. Fuck that. Some people don't have those moments, but some mm. people don't. Some people think that have taken it think I'm full retarded. They just think I'm full loopy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which is another high possibility. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But. Uh, yeah. I've, I've had like a weird multiverse thing happen. Have you? Tell me. Bro. You remember like 2012, the world was meant to end? Mm. So like, I woke up. I can't even remember the hour I woke up. Mm. It was weird. I woke up out of nowhere. Mm. And like. Like in the night? Yeah. Okay. Night, early morning, mm-hmm. and it was silence, right? Like, mm. you know, like real silence. Yeah. yeah. Nothing happening. Yeah. It was glowing orange. Bro, I know red. the day. That's Outside. a real day. Trust me, that's a real day. Not the dust storm that happened. The... Oh, go on. Finish the story. Not the dust storm. Finish the story. Finish the story. How old were you, do you reckon? 2012. 2012. So... Fuck, I don't know. I would have been 14, so you would have been like 16. Yeah. Okay. Go on, go on. Yeah. All right. So I wake up. I was like, oh, fuck. The world's actually ended. It, like, look, it was like a fucking... The world was destroyed. It looked like the aftermath of, mm-hmm. like, shit going off. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh. It's actually ended. I was at peace. I was like, I'm going back to sleep. Fuck. And no. then I woke up. I panicked when I woke up. I was like, whoa, what the fuck? And then I looked out the window. Nothing. No trace of it. Nothing. Bro. And I was like... What the fuck? That was weird. Can I tell you something weird? Yeah. I'm guarantee you, most people listening to the podcast, including myself, had the exact same thing happen to them. Exact yeah. same thing. It was in 2012. I know for a fact I had the exact same moment you had. Yeah. Like, everything was red, bro. And I've even had people in the past tell me a story about one time it happened to them when their whole family got up together and they were all just fucking sitting in the lounge room in this red fucking red moment in history mm. and i remember that moment bro it was yeah. real and i remember thinking the world the world has restarted yeah this is it i reckon other people relating if i can hit me up let me know if that happened to you as well. yeah comment <laughs> if that shit happened to someone else because like yeah i always really thought well like, what was that fucking that's what crazy. happened there that's crazy bro i love like, that don't get confused with the dust storms nah, that nah, happened nah. like because it was glowing red when the dust storms were on i remember a dust storm and i was in like you remember nine. it was like a few days where, like, everything mm. was covered in dust and... Then... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I was at Norwest when that happened, yeah. actually. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, It was different to that, like... Yeah, yeah, I but... know the time you were talking about. Yeah. It was a nostalgic moment. Mm. The dust storms left the fucking grass all different colours. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I remember that. Why did that happen, do you know? A dust storm? I can't remember. What the fuck would cause a dust storm? That's crazy. Mm. No, oh, fuck, bro. That, that moment in 2012. <laughs> yeah. I've never felt peace like that, to be honest. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, in that That's moment, I just point. accepted fate, and I was like, oh, I'm going back to sleep. Fuck. Yeah, would, would you accept fate so easily today? If you woke up and you realised this, that was it? Like, I don't know. Like, when you say you accepted fate, what did you think had happened? Did you think you were the only person alive? Like, what did you think? Oh, I don't know. I, there was, like, no care. I was like, oh, oh whatever okay. happened, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. It was like enlightenment, kind Enlight- of. Oh, you yeah. know what I mean? I don't know. I, know I don't you know mean, how to explain I mean. it. I know what you mean, man. It was like, nothing mattered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck, that's sick. No, I didn't have a feeling of enlightenment. I'd love a feeling of enlightenment. That'd be mad. Uh. That'd be sick. They reckon, that, that reminds me of the fact that they reckon that humans are entering a stage of, I think they call it enlightenment, or something. There's a word similar to that, where we're all entering one consciousness. You ever heard that? It's the way technology is evolving to how we're all going to eventually going to download our consciousness onto the internet, which is kind Would of a hundred percent, hundred percent. Fuck that. The I don't I, want no Neuralink. Give, Miss me with give, that shit, bro. Give me two. Give me two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Give me two. Sign me up, bro. Nah, fuck that. I'm in a heartbeat. Bro, someone's going to hack it, bro. Fucking let them take me, bro. Yeah. At least I'm up in the internet forever. But they reckon that all human is going to human states are going to get to this. You ever mm. seen the show One Hundred? The One Hundred. Is that when them come through outer space and they come back to Earth? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Did you ever finish it? The series. That little, the, they go. They dragged on a Ooh. lot. 
I think I stopped that, once they started meeting all the other cunts that were there. Oh, that was season two, bro. <laughs> How many seasons are like there? Six or seven or something. Oh, fuck. Yeah. They end up going to different planets. And different planets? The shit. fuck? Yeah, bro. Crazy. It gets crazy. Anyway, I don't want to give it away. But if you haven't seen it, then don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> something to do with enlightenment. Uh, but, but anyway, that's what people think that the human consciousness is going towards. I think it's possible. I think it's definitely possible. Mm. Mm. I had a conversation with Fossey actually about this today. And we were talking about... How and he actually told me that Joe Rogan thinks this too, and I was surprised to know that because I thought I knew everything that that motherfucker mm. thought. But I thought that you know this whole transgender movement, yeah. How like kids are gonna they're trying to get kids to choose their own gender and all this Bro, crazy off. shit, right? Fuck off! Just ridiculous shit. It it has to be some kind of joke, but at the same time, I'm kind of thinking it's not. I know if it's the media just making us think there's this crazy shit happening because. Surely it's really not happening. But anyway, I reckon it, we're literally in a stage of evolution. Mm. The more I think about it, where, you know, when like a fucking, any type of evolution happens, a plant will adapt based on its environment yeah. or a certain fucking crab might start to genetically enhance itself before the water's change in fucking temperature. Things just happen naturally. Yeah. Well, I reckon humans are... And naturally getting rid of gender because everything's going to become internet based in the future. Uh, so we're getting rid of, without even knowing, Mother yeah. Nature is kicking in and getting us ready to start choosing our own genders because that's what's going to happen. We're all going to be on the internet. Yeah. A dick and a, and a vagina isn't going to mean shit because there's going to be no more reproduction. Mm. I reckon that's kind of what we're in the middle of. That's what I think of the transgender movement. Uh. <laughs> Yeah. What do you think of the transgender movement? Honestly, I don't give a fuck about it. Don't give a fuck at all? I don't give a fuck. Whatever, I don't care, like... I can't help but think about it, bro. Like, um... You got a dick, you got a dick, you got a vagina, you got a vagina. If you want to change it, change it. I don't yeah, care. Yeah, 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 I get that. I don't, I don't care, care, you know? In that sense. But, I don't want... My kids aren't going to be kids that change their gender. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. They're going to be what they are. Oh, bro, you're about to get fucking cancelled. No, nah, fuck, cancel me. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> they can choose once they're grown. Yeah, yeah. But they yeah, ain't yeah. changing while they're kids. Yeah, good, good, good. That's mm -hmm. a correct... In my opinion, that's a correct answer. That's a correct I ain't going to have one of them kids... Bro, you're going to live your life first, mm -hmm. and then you tell me... Mm -hmm. If I have a boy and he says he's a girl... Mm -hmm. I'm like, motherfucker, you get in his gym and you bash yeah. the motherfuckers? Yeah. You tell me you don't fucking love that? Yeah. Go fuck some bitties? You tell me you don't love that? Go get a six pack and then we'll talk. Yeah. <laughs> Go live yeah. your life as a man. Get as strong as you can get. Mm -hmm. And like... And then fucking work it If you want to change, change once you're an adult. But yeah. fucking... Why are you a kid, bro? Nah. What made me first get curious about this whole movement? Because I knew it was happening and I'm just like, whatever. I didn't understand it. But I watched a documentary about Caitlyn Jenner mm. on Netflix. Pretty sure it was Netflix. And it was. It was called Untold Caitlyn Jenner. And it talked about how Bruce Jenner, who was the fucking always the Bruce Jenner, yeah. was, as a kid, always felt like they were actually a girl. But it was actually a boy. And they tried so hard because they thought they were weird. Yeah. They're like, I've got to act more manly. Obviously, I'm not manly enough. So they started joining the wrestling teams. They fucking dominated the wrestling team. Started playing football, got into, I think, college football. Dominated it. Yeah. Still felt like a woman. So I was like, man, I'm obviously not trying hard enough. They tried so hard, they literally became the manliest man. They become an Olympic gold medalist in mm. multiple sports. And then in the end, they he got married multiple times, had fucking children with some of the hottest women. I think they might have been at the time. But anyway, gave birth and raised beautiful daughters. Became a fucking man. And then at the end, he's like, I oh, fuck this. This is bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> and then now it's Caitlyn Jenner. And I see Caitlyn Jenner as an actual chick when I watch TV shows. He's still got a dick. No, no, no. Cut it off. You sure? Yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Am I thinking of Are you else? sure? I know he got titties. I'm thinking of someone. Or she got titties. But they kept the dick. Because they're a lesbian. That's a good question. I always assumed there was a John. I'm thinking of someone else. Let's find out. Fact check me. Does Caitlyn Jenner have a dick? Or does Bruce Jenner have a vagina? 
one or two. I could be wrong. I don't even know if I'm right. I'm actually unsure. I wanna, I'm gonna fucking say there's a vagina underneath that. Hundred percent. Bought and paid for. Would you hit? <laughs> <laughs> Would you hit <laughs> if it was a really fucking hot chick? But it used to be a dude, but you couldn't tell. And it had like a fucking perfect pussy. Would you hear? Yeah, it's custom pussy, bro. <laughs> because imagine the state of that million dollar pussy. Yeah. Bar. Fuck, 100%. Good answer. I don't know. You know, like. Does it tell you the answer? Uh, too much reading, to be honest. Uh, you tell me. You, you, you talk. I'm too much read. reading. Um, so I was listening to the radio the other month through my apprentice. Mm -hmm. And I was this cunt. He was dating this girl. He was dating her for like a couple months or something. Mm hmm. And then she came clean and said she just had a sex change. She used to be a guy. Oh, really? And this guy, like, full broke up with her and that. So he called the radio to ask if he was slack. Oh, yeah. Or if he was a dog. Good question. Everyone's and like, nah, he's fucking, that's right. I think it's right, too. Like, to break I think it's up, wrong he lied to you. But would you care in that situation? I don't think I'd care. Oh, that's a great question. First, I've got to analyze the fact that the person who was the transgender is in the wrong. 100%. Yeah. You can't lie. You can't... You can't... Misleading the truth is also lying. It's the same thing. Mm. That guy has every right to have left in the relationship, in my opinion. Yeah. Would I care? It's hard to say because they're not in the situation, but is it like... You're in... Are they in love? Are they like fucking... Or are they just fucking seeing each other? Because if... Nah, because even if you're in love, you've been dealing with a lie this whole time. Even if you couldn't tell that it was a dude. Mm. Yeah. I bet the Adam's apple would give it away. <laughs> she gets shaved off, bro. <laughs> yeah, I know. I don't know. Can't even tell nowadays. You can't even tell. But fucking sack that bitch, bro. Get rid of her. Yeah. Not only... Nah, all right. I'll just say the fact they're a liar. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're a liar. A liar. Get rid of them. They're a liar. Yeah. And this says, according to experts, Jenna said the surgery, which is costly and complex, was successful, and that she feels not only wonderful, but liberated. She said, having a penis had no special gift or use for me. I just want to have all the right parts. So it's bought um, and paid for, okay. that pussy. I was wrong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was wrong. I thought so. Yeah. I thought there has to be a fucking hidden badge, bro. There's no way. Oh, you know what? I knew it deep down, because Ricky Gervais has a mad joke about the fact that he, she hasn't got a dick anymore. Yeah. <laughs> So weird to say, hey, she hasn't got a dick anymore. So, do you think that's fucking up? Uh, oh, no, nah, don't worry. It's going to get a bit too messed up. We keep talking <laughs> nah, about just it. Hit me, bro. Nah, no, no, it's I'll cut a it. bit I'll too messed up. No, no, don't worry. I'll cut it. I'll cut it. All right, all right, all right. No. <laughs> <laughs> we got to get cancelled. All right. All right, sweet. We got to get cancelled. Now, on to the next thing then. Nah, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Would oh. you run through trannies? <laughs> <laughs> No! Would I run through dreams intentionally? Bro, I've got to be honest with you. I've seen a couple fucking TikToks of these chicks that you think are babes. You think they're fucking mm. babes. And then it turns out it was a dude before. And yeah. you have no way of knowing. Obviously, I would have hit that. Yeah. <laughs> you think it's a chick, bro. It's wild. It's a scary time, bro. It's a scary time to mm. be a man. Yeah. No, it's not. Yeah, it is, bro. Let's bring... You gotta cheat on them anyway. <laughs> oh, does he mean like get into a relationship with one? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, oh, no, I don't know, bro. It's so strange. It's so, it's so weird. I don't know. It's hard to say. I've never met. I've never met anyone. Have you ever met anyone who was tranny? Nah, I haven't. I haven't. Do you they're real? <laughs> Like a fucking leprechaun. <laughs> <laughs> like a big foot, eh? Yeah. <laughs> you hear these stories, bro. You never see one. I never see them. They on every what do you mean TV you never show? see them? They're in Thailand yeah. everywhere. <laughs> yeah, true. They're on every TV show, but fuck, I never have to see one in person. Yeah. Fuck. All right, I just thought of another goal that I'd like to have when you ask about the podcast. This is something that I've been thinking about for a while. I know that you can actually give birth to a person in Australian jail, females correctional centres, while you're pregnant. You can get, you can fall pregnant in jail, or you can be pregnant and get sent to jail, and you can give birth to the child in jail and keep that baby with you. Well, until I thought the they baby... let you out if you're pregnant. 
No, I don't let you out if you're pregnant. Yeah, because... You they, go to the hospital... They used to the stand at the fences and, like, get people walking past to, like, stick it in and so they can get pregnant and get released. All right, is that... That cannot be true. They would have to, like, get special treatments for hospital visitations and certain things like that, but they're still inmates. Mm. <laughs> I believe people are walking past putting their fucking backing up onto fucking glory holes. Then <laughs> seek through glory holes through the prison fence. Um, yeah, but you can actually give birth to the child and have them in jail and then keep raise the child in jail until it becomes unsafe for the child to be there. So if you're in a wing that's super safe, everyone I can imagine would want to look after the person who's having the baby because they're kind of going to protect their own wing and mm. other wings might be fucking, you know, normal women in there that aren't crazy as fuck. They're all going to protect it. So the baby could get old enough to go to school and still live in jail. I want to meet a kid who was born in jail and raised in jail and have them on the podcast. <laughs> that's <laughs> but, what I want. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a cool. goal for me. That's a cool I goal. need to know what it's like to, to fucking be raised like that. In a jail. Surely they let the kid out. The fuck. No, the kid can go out. That's where they live. That parent has custody of that kid, bro. The parent can't have custody. That's if it doesn't go to the dad. No. What if there's? What if the other? What if the dad's in jail? What if there's no other? Doesn't man, the family? kid become a, a, a um? State owned. Yeah. I don't know. If state owned is a thing in Australia, but. Yeah, it was like all docs and shit, and like. We get kids oh, get looked if, after. I about. guess if the government takes away the kids off the parents. Because does that mean state owned? Yeah, I thought that was just if someone like like gave up a kid, like left them in the street or something, and the, nah. then the government takes them, and it takes over. Wouldn't yeah. they take over if fucking mum's in jail? No, nah, I know you. I know you can have the kid and raise them in jail if it's safe. What? <laughs> if the conditions are good enough. No way. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Let's fact check it real quick. Yeah, fact check that shit. I'd hate to cut more shit out. <laughs> I'm just joking. I haven't cut anything yet. Hey, you better not cut out the beginning. I won't, I won't. <laughs> There's some gold in there. I want you to keep. Can you have a child in Australian jail and raise them? So, women in custody who are pregnant or who are the primary carers of young children may apply for the Living With Mum program. Correctional Victoria acknowledges that many women prisoners provide the primary care for their children. But what does that mean? They um, live at home, but they're house arrest? Um, well, this states that women in custody are pregnant, the primary care, blah, blah, blah. Correctional acknowledges, I just read that bit. The LWM program encourages the mother-child relationship by allowing young children to live with their mother in custody and provides the pregnant prisoners with anti- and postnatal health services oh, okay. while they're in jail. Oh. So, yeah, if anyone knows anyone who knows anyone who was raised in those situations, please let me know. <laughs> That'd be great up to her day. Yeah. Bro, you know who else I want to have on? There's this fucking hitchhiker in the grass oh, hills. I drive past him all the time, yeah. bro, And I've never been able to stop because every time I see him, I'm on, I need to get something done. Yeah. And then some days I've got nothing on. I'm like, I'm going to pick up the hitchhiker today. And he's not there. Mm. Later on the day, I'll see him and I've got something on. Yeah. I want to pick him up one day because he's just fucking floating around the suburbs the all fuck? the time. Yeah. I'm going to fucking invite him on. Just <laughs> 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 see what's up with that guy. Yeah. Why are you hitchhiking? Just <laughs> see what's up with that guy. But, but you heard Uber? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, you want to get some spinners on you, eh? I'd love to get some spinners on you, yeah. bro. I'd love to get some spinners. I'd love to get like, all sorts of people. I'd love to talk, sit down and talk to a sex worker. There's questions I would ask sex workers. There's questions I would ask ex-fucking prisoners, drug addicts. I want to talk to all sorts of people, not mm. just inspirational people. I want to talk to the opposite. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah sit down. How do I not get like you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so can you explain to me what choices you made along the way that I don't go down? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Speaking of, uh, like, spinners... While we're on the benders, yeah, yeah, you know, um, your ex used to call me in the mornings hmm? and be like, Oh, have you heard from Doxy? I'm like, I mean, I was just with him like a couple of hours ago on the bender, and yeah, like, oh, she, he's calling me from hospital. I'm what? Like, so, bro, I'm me and her, cut this out, bro. What? <laughs> I can't put this, <laughs> I'm like no, a junkie, bro. 
<laughs> oh my god. Bro, you know how many times she's called me in the morning and be like, What the hell? Where's Doxy? Can you help me find him? He's he's in trouble. And we'd call, call him the hospitals. We'd call the hospitals. Like, oh, you he's got here. You're probably as me, bro. bro. I'll be no I'll safe. You were probably playing Where's Wally with the gun upstairs. <laughs> I'll be no <laughs> safe to be looking for you. But one of the times you were actually in hospital. What? Yeah. No way. Yeah. Um, but That's one time awesome. I was like, I don't even remember any of that. Yeah, <laughs> bro, you went missing one time. What? You went missing like no one can contact you for ages. It's like how long ages? I don't know, a couple of days. Bro, I can't off be a posting it. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Bro, oh, yeah, no. and she's like calling me. She's like upset, and, like panicking, like don't know where you are. I'm like, bro, I was just with him. I was like, surely I was I'm like, I don't know what the fuck we got up to. I'm like, I don't <laughs> well, you know. You know, you were just with me like how long ago? <laughs> yeah. How long ago was I, was I just with you? Like the day before? Yeah, I'd assume like the day it. before. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> Probably still there. Bro, no, I, I went to your house one time. You, you weren't there. No way. I went up to your room. You how weren't you in there. How were you getting around? I think I was just driving <laughs> fucked up, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Cut that. <laughs> Oh, fuck you, make me keep it. You don't keep it. Yeah, I will keep it. Yeah, I was just driving. Fuck. That's crazy. Yeah, I went to your house and you were there one time and I was like, oh, fuck, he's actually gone. I was like, good shit. Bro, what the fuck? Do you reckon that's not normal? <laughs> that's not normal, bro. Yeah, well, I have no memory of any of that. They were the days, bro. The only reason I remember it is because I remember I happened to look for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I remember like having to look at you while I'm fucked oh, up. Where I like, to go? I don't know, but one time you, that time you, you weren't home and I came to check on you. You ended up home later that night. Really? I came past. You're like, oh, yo, come, come grab me, and I'm like, ah, right, sweet. And people was like, bro, where you been? Like, we may have been here. So I'm like, bro, I came here. You weren't here. <laughs> so where I was here. Yeah. Sorry, I was like, bro, I, I came over this morning. You weren't here. <laughs> Honestly, they were the days, but and, like, Yeah, I'll pick you up and then straight back on it. <laughs> <laughs> Until the next time you disappear. <laughs> next few days. Well, they were the days, honestly. Mm. I don't I don't condone any of the behaviour we got up to. But there was just something about just being such a bomb that felt so good, didn't it? Just yeah. felt so good. Oh, huh. I think I've come a bit of a long way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've come a long way. I like to think so, anyway. I hope so. A lot of changes. I hope so. I'm not fucking with me, bro. You're fucking with me. No way. No. Bro, you're using the camera quality sound for that. Come on. Come on, bro. You're using the camera sound. There's no way. We, we can't run that back. I don't even know what I asked you. Bro. Don't worry. Now you got a free <laughs> Oh my god. For Guys, thanks for listening. listening. The podcast is over. <laughs> it's not over yet. It's not over yet. I'm sorry, Dale. I'm sorry. Boys and girls, if there's any of the girls listening, we have just ran it back for like another 35, 40 minutes and I didn't even have the fucking microphone. <laughs> <laughs> what the this fuck? This is so shit. I'm so shit at this. <laughs> <laughs> I am so Bro, shit you at need this. a good night's sleep. Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I can't believe you just dumb me like that. I don't even know. I can't remember Bro, what I I've asked up you. like three days ago. <laughs> Give me some slack. <laughs> I don't remember what you've asked me. This no, asked bro. Me. It's just, as, you, as hey. you were saying when the marks are off, you're just winging it, bro. And as I said, you're doing a great job. You're doing a great job. You're running it off the camera sound, bro. I'm telling you. Trust me, I'm You're not. keeping that camera I'm sound. Not. Trust me. You're not muting the cameras in the edit. You have to. You have to. Just have a look at your notes. Oh, uh, bro. Your notes are done. They were done two hours ago. <laughs> Fuck. Can't believe I lost oh. that. No, we can save this. We'll just keep going for another, like, 15, 20. We can save this. <laughs> <laughs> we can save this. Oh, oh I'll God. give a quick recap yeah. of the stuff we missed out on. So, you did ask me, is... Oh, I can't even know. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even recap. <laughs> but, um, the tips that he has yes. for um, people right. looking I to did, get I, into I, this... I didn't even finish it. I didn't even finish Don't be doxy. <laughs> <laughs> that is my tip. <laughs> the oh. amount of times he's failed. 
I'm sure like five podcasts with him and there's one out right now on the internet. <laughs> I'm drying, bro. I'm seriously drying. This is such a grind. All right. You did ask me, which I didn't get to answer. It was the, it was the, I think it was a good question. You said, is there any tips for anyone else who is thinking of trying? The reason why you asked me that is because I said that I think you're very good at doing this. I think you're natural sitting in that seat. Mm. And you've also told me you wanted to have a podcast in the past. So I think, and everyone let Damo know or me know, and I'll send the message to him, if you think he should have a podcast where he interviews fighters. And is there any reason why you'd want to do fighters? What's the main reason for that? I want to give them the exposure they deserve. Great. Great. That's sick. That's the reason the fucking podcast should be Bro, do you know how many killers are out there and you don't yeah. even know their names? Yeah. Don't know who they are. Mm-hmm. Oh, bro, there's some crazy talent. And, like, I want to help build them, man. I want to help give them the platform mm-hmm. so the world can see who they are. Mm. Great, bro. That's so you good. Know? It's that genuine rawness, bro, that would make a great podcast, dude. Mm. It would make you a good host because, as I said earlier, it'd be hectic to get rich off this. It'd be it'd be so good. Yeah. But, fuck, like, it's fine at the end of the day, you know? Like, for that one, I wouldn't even care if I made money. Yeah. Like, yeah. seriously. That's mad. Um, I think you should do it, bro. Like, realistically, I'm not the best fighter in the world, but I really appreciate fighting. I know. And there's a lot of people way better than me mm-hmm. that deserve the exposure man they okay. um, really need yeah that's awesome they need a platform to mm-hmm. get get their name out there you could be like the adam 22 of fighters mm. yeah do you watch any adam 22 i used to yeah so he's like you know how so you know how he's the fucking rapper yeah. podcast. he could be that for fighters mm. in australia we haven't got anything like that yet do we i think the closest thing would be the lucas, lucas podcast yeah lucas he podcast. has a lot of fighters on mm-hmm is he training at the gym you train at? Like, how's... I think he trains at ATT sometimes. Okay. Seen videos of him there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, cool. Yeah, I'd love it, bro. I'd love to see you do that. So, we were talking about that, which made you ask me, is there any tips to anyone else who should be doing it? And I think, for starters, content creation is such an important thing. Mm. The more I get into it, the more I'm realizing how much I love it, and the more reasons I'm realizing why I love it. Yeah. You're providing entertainment. I think that... And I also mentioned this when the mics were off as well. There are two main components that I try and base my life off. Learning and teaching, mm. which is what I said you're really good at, which led us talking about the podcast, because you can absorb information really quickly and you're very good at giving that information out to other people that they can understand it yeah. and then be able to do it. So if you had your own podcast, you could definitely lead people in the right direction. It would be good, as you said, to be able to give people a platform. That would be awesome. But I think people would benefit more than just a platform if you did a podcast. Mm. I think you'd be able to analyze people and let them, let them know what they probably don't already know about themselves. Yeah. And content creation, yeah, as I said, learning and teaching. For everything that we absorb, we've got to be able to give out. Otherwise, we're just consumers. Mm. Consuming is awesome. I consume so much shit all the time. Fucking so much of everything. I'm a consumer. But providing is also so important because if no one provided no one would be consuming yeah and i tell all the boys i tell um i tell the boys at golf we should start making golf videos even if they're shit and mm. everyone no one watches them we we'll get to keep them forever yeah in a hundred in not a hundred in 50 years from now i'm gonna look back and i'm gonna see podcasts i made when i'm fucking 20 yeah like what the fuck bro i'm i'm so excited for those days I'm going to sit down with my grandparents at Christmas. I'm going to do a podcast with them. I'm going to do the other side of my family. I'm going to interview my pop. And maybe other people might not find that interesting, but I'm going to enjoy it. And I'm always going to have that, which is why content creation is so good. So as I said, you asked me any tips and the first step has to be starting. You've just got to fucking press record, talk shit. Fucking Patrick, I might beep the name out because he hasn't given me, I'll ask him if I can keep the name in. He told me that he, I inspired him, which felt amazing to hear, mm. to pick up his camera and record himself doing shit on his car. Yeah. So he showed me the videos and he's like, hey guys, the first few were like, this feels really fucking weird. And then he just <laughs> stop it and then he's all right, I'm trying again. Hey guys, I'm going to be changing this part on my car today. Yeah. Right. And he started filming it and it lit up my world watching that video. Yeah. I'm like, everyone needs to be doing this. Mm. Don't be on Instagram flexing, take a fucking gym photo here and there. Post fucking content for us to consume. Bro. Yeah. I fucking love it. That's why all your highlight reels. That's content creation, bro. It's mm. a fucking G up. It's mad. 
I love it. So step one, press start, press record, and then step two, do it again. Yeah. That's all it is. And then eventually you'll get better and better and better at it. And I'm no professional. I am fucking so bad, as we've discovered through this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nah, don't, don't talk to yourself like that. Like, well, don't I, make it negative. Um, I'm not negative, but I know when I fuck up. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, but like... It's fine. Your podcast, is, it's crazy. When you first showed me your intro, yeah, I yeah. was like, how the fuck did this cunt learn how to do that? <laughs> really? Yeah. He ah. was texting me the videos, oh, which intro should I use? This one, that one. And, I was like, what the fuck? Oh, for real? Bro, I had a fuck deal. <laughs> like, fuck. bro. See, so can't. Yeah. That could be said, um, just start. That's a good tip for life as well, man. Yeah, true. But true. Anything anyone's like, looking to do, mm-hmm. you're thinking about it, it's something you're passionate about, just start. It doesn't matter where you start. You're going to get somewhere. Yeah, that's a great point. I didn't think of it for anything else other than that. But that's going to the gym, mm. starting a new diet, that's fucking starting a new job. Fucking moving house. Yeah. Everything just comes to just starting, eh? Yeah. Just There's no start. better day than today. I see it. Yeah. It's okay to fail too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I actually had a great, great quote today. It was actually from Andrew Tate, which surprised me because most of the shit he speaks is just funny. Yeah. It's G up. It's, it's good. It's a bit motivating, but it's just silly. This one was so good. You know the Andy Bernard quote from The Office where nah. he says, you haven't seen The Office? No. Nah. Oh, well, he has this quote where he says... Some he's he's leaving. It might have been the last episode, last couple of episodes, and he's saying, looking back, he, looking back, he says, I wish there was a way of knowing you were in the good old days before you've left them, mm. and that always sat with me. I thought, fuck, that is so true. And then someone asked a question to Andrew Tate on the podcast I listened to today, and he says, I believe that we're always in the good old days. We're always in them. Yeah. In 10 years from now, you're going to look back on today, and today is the good old days. But today, mm. you look back 10 years, and they're in the good old days. And I know it has nothing to do with what we were just talking about, but fuck, I love that fucking quote, bro. Yeah. I love that quote. We're always in the good old days. So there is no better day than today to start doing anything. 100%. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's cool. We're always in the good old days. <laughs> oh, I'm going to start looking at life different that's after that. Day. Oh, that yeah. really made me look at life different for the rest of today. Yeah. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. I'm going to look back at this and see that your growth from your podcasting, bro. Yeah. I'm like, fuck the good old days. <laughs> yeah. These were the good old days before it turned into a fucking hot fucking financial mess. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It might be a mess now, but it's still the good old days <laughs> yeah. right now. Yeah. 100%. Oh, okay, no. Financial mess. Uh, how much money are you blown into this? <laughs> All of it. <laughs> Let's um, wait for this new studio, guys. Yeah. This is going to look fucking mint very shortly. Mm. Very shortly. Man. So for the people that are listening and heard him say, just start, you don't need to buy all this fancy equipment. When Doxy started, he started with a GoPro and my iPad, bro. Yeah, like, yeah, that's true. That's what we started with. Yeah. Just start. And I, even I was telling him, bro, We'll just record it for practice. Like mm-hmm. we might not even upload this ever. Mm-hmm. It's just good to get the reps. And that's it. That's all it was. It was just it was reps. One hundred percent. It was just repetition. And I don't know. I feel a bit weird talking about it because I don't. I don't know if I'm sounding like I feel like I'm a professional doing this. I'm just sharing what I've learned so far along the way. Yeah. And I'm gonna have a shitload more to share with you in the future. But for now. The first podcast I recorded with anyone that wasn't you was off an iPhone. And I think the camera was, the mic was off when we said this bit. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Fuck me. You yeah, yeah, missed the whole roast. <laughs> Yo, Jimmy, missed the whole roast. Jimmy. This motherfucker recording off two iPhone 13 Pros <laughs> used a front facing camera for the podcast <laughs> when they got two good. Back facing cameras he could have recorded with. Yeah. <laughs> it's a dumb fuck. What a dickhead. Bro. What a dickhead. Why? Just a dickhead, that's why. Dickhead. <laughs> I don't know, bro. I'm so bad with fucking technology. I don't know what went through your head I didn't to know. press that button to reverse it, because I'm pretty sure the thought, back camera I comes up it would first. Be good if we could see ourselves. <laughs> you have the camera facing, press it. Now it's looking at me. I don't you know. Know. I what the fuck? I thought it would be good to see how someone oh, doing it. Fuck. Which it did, and it made it so much more intimate. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Oh, bro.
Yeah. Uh, to be honest, you don't need much straight up. They make content. You just need an iPhone, bro, honestly. Yeah. That's all you need. Just need an iPhone. Bro, is this heap editing apps on iPhone you can use? Yeah. 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 Or just hit me up. I'm fucking... I'm learning. I'm yeah. learning. Yeah. That's cool. You hear that? Free lessons. Or are you charging? Oh, fuck. Free bucks. <laughs> yeah. Free lessons. <laughs> free lessons. If I learn it for free, then free lessons. Nah, I think um, sharing your knowledge is valuable, man. 100%. You should, you should um, 100%. make some money off it. We never... Nah. I, can't, I don't know what I'm doing yet. <laughs> make money off it. But sharing is important. Is important. It's one of the main things I base my life on. I've noticed that with every great tradesman I have, yeah. they want to see you improve. Mm. And that's my goal when we have an apprentice too. Oh, my goal is to have the apprentice not have to work with me anymore, which is a shame because like you train them up so they're good enough to start doing your job. Yeah. And then they're too good <laughs> for you to be training them anymore. And someone, nah. they go off to do their no own No apprentice thing. can ever replace me. <laughs> I'm too good. <laughs> <laughs> good mindset. Good mindset. But I think that every apprentice will eventually become better than every tradesman. Don't you reckon? Nah. Unless it's a fucking gimp. Not every apprentice. Not every apprentice, but every apprentice. See, one in five. That's meant to. That's meant to become a tradesman. One in five. I don't know. If you have a really good tradesman and you have a really good apprentice, that apprentice will become better than the tradesman. That's what I'm trying to say. I guess I didn't word it probably. Yeah, but the same thing comes with everything. Yeah. The next generation is always going to be better. Hundred yeah. percent. Bro, even look at Danny. Next generation yeah, of fighter. Yeah, yeah. Bro, that cunt's a killer. Killer is a killer. But that's an example of why your information of your ability to absorb information becomes such good second nature for you to pass on to someone else so mm-hmm. easily. Danny's a perfect example of that. Yeah. 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 Man. Fuck! I hope you start making fucking videos, bros. Fucking hope you do. Do you regret anything from the podcast? Oh, from the podcast? No, nah, not at all. Yeah. In fact, I don't regret anything ever. Yeah. No, I don't regret anything ever. Surely you regret something. Nah. No. Nah. There's no point. Yeah. There's no point. It made me who I am today. I've embarrassed the fuck out of myself. I've let other people down. I've embarrassed other people. I've belittled people and I shouldn't have. I've been a piece of shit. I'm embarrassed for how I've treated other people. But I don't regret any of it. I don't mm. regret any of it. Because if I didn't go through it, I'd still be susceptible to doing it. Yeah. Know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think regrets are unhealthy. Definitely unhealthy. Um, Unless you do something seriously fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm not that bad. <laughs> yeah. 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 Right. You know, I'm so impressed with, like, not just your growth with the podcast, your growth as a person. Oh, what? Well, don't tell me that. Yeah. <laughs> don't tell me that. Make me flustered. No, like the answer you say. Not the joke, bro. Just, bro, you, you're like. I don't know how to explain this or how to word it. You're like, um. Hippie. You're very mature. Like, you reckon? Yeah. I like your mindset. Oh, thanks, bro. I wonder where that came from. I don't feel mature. You know, oh, you don't act it all the time, but <laughs> yeah, true, true. But like, just um, well, I am always do, trying man. to be better than myself. Mm. I'm always trying to be better than myself. Yeah, I guess that helps. I learned. I heard a quote, and I saved it in my phone. Maturity comes from realizing you're tired of your own shit. Yeah, yeah. So I try and stick with that. If I'm unhappy with something, <clears throat> and I know it can be improved on, then that's maturity, mm. in my opinion. Yeah. But I was just about to say something, but I can't remember what it was. Nah, fuck it. No, nah, but I appreciate that. That makes me feel good. It does make me feel good. Mm. And I I hope I've come a long way. Really, I do. Because oh, I've been a piece of shit, <laughs> eh? I've been a piece bro, of shit. Bro, you've been a mess. <laughs> you've been a piece <laughs> of shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've been a full scumbag. <laughs> but we, yeah. we all have been, you know? Yeah. I yeah. hope so. <laughs> <laughs> hope it's not just us <laughs> oh wait we ain't lumping me in there with that <laughs> no I'm, like, I'm standing on this boat by myself <laughs> get it twisted bro fuck you mean I'm standing here by myself you know. like, we're going down together <laughs> no I'm right or die bro yeah right or die I'll get down I oh, know I can't believe I had so much of the podcast off that's great. This is the perfect swap cast. Yeah. <laughs> it's like episode one, bro. Bro. I can't wait to keep doing these. I really can't wait to keep doing these. Yeah. 
Yeah, bro. Man, it's good to see you got a passion like this, man. Yeah. Yeah. It's sick. Well, I just, I don't know, bro. It's just, I don't know. It's, let me think for one sec, because I'm getting so tired. <laughs> I got to think about my answer. Yeah, finish that Red Bull, bro, you know. Yeah, I'm going to have to go to sleep as soon as we're done. I'm going to have to get that um Tristan Tate's energy drink. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've seen that today. Where he fucking laid down on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's talking about how he's up since yesterday. <laughs> I've seen that. Well, I don't even know what you just said to me, bro. <laughs> Bro, your eyes look so heavy. Uh, <laughs> bro, honestly, I don't even know what you just asked me. <laughs> I'm going to have to have a sip of this. And then, do you remember what you asked me? Bro, I'm, I'm going to be honest, I'm so tired. I don't remember what I asked you either. <laughs> I'm so tired. I'm so tired, dude. Oh, fuck. All right, as I have a sip, I guarantee I'm going to remember what it was. Straight up, I remember what you said. Yeah. <laughs> you said that um, you're so happy to see that I have a passion like this. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I think, I think I have such a big passion for this because it's so much pressure. It's seriously so much pressure putting out an episode a week. Yeah. It is the hardest thing I do. And I work two full-time jobs. Yeah. Bro. Fuck, bro. <laughs> one at night, one in the day. And this is so much harder. Mm. Not because I find sitting down hard. That's easy. Not because I find finding the guests hard because that's easy. Editing is easy. The posting, the interacting, all of that is easy. But all of it together is such a fucking grind. Once a week is fucking insane. Yeah. Fuck, bro. It's crazy. Um, what happened to you having a few videos ahead of the week? Have you I'm, caught up? I was. I was. And it all got fucking deleted, bro. Oh, it's all gone. Yeah, right. I'm back yeah. to fucking one day in advance. Fuck. Yeah. Oh, and schedule, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to catch up on what I missed out on. Mm. Yeah, until I start double booking it and stop working so much. Maybe I'll take an annual leave week off or something like that and just bank up five, six. Yeah. Get them saved in the books. And yeah, until then, it's once a week grind. Last week, I was late to work by an hour because I was not letting myself miss out on fucking the podcast. Yeah. I'm like, I will not go to work today. This podcast comes out tonight, 1 a.m. Yeah. So I was meant to be there at like 10.30. I reckon I got there at midnight. Oh, fuck. Because <laughs> yeah. this is the priority. Oh, that's good. That's yeah. good to see, man. This is the priority. Our parents are like being like, dude, aren't you meant to be at work? And I'm just fucking like, no. Fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, then. We'll wrap it up in a minute. Right. Anything else you want to fucking hit me with? Bro, your eyes look so heavy. You look like you're about to fall asleep yeah, right bro, now. I fucking love this. It's so good. I fucking love this. It's so bro, it's good. 11.30. Is it? It's 11.30. Oh, my God. We started at like 8.30 or something. <laughs> yeah, we did. All right. If you could go back in the past to give yourself some knowledge, what would that knowledge be? Oh, damn. I'm so stealing that question and using it in the future, bro. That is a great question. It would be to go back and tell myself, stop worrying about what other people are thinking of you because no one gives a fuck. No one's thinking about you. Mm. And it definitely impacted me, in not in the sense that it made me do things to try and impress other people, but I think growing up, and until probably within the last couple of years, it took a toll on how I acted. You know what I mean? How yeah. I carried myself. It never made me do anything for anyone else, but it definitely, definitely affected how I thought of myself. Mm. And AJ said to me, shout out to you, AJ, the only person that's actually allowed to judge you is you because you're the only person trying to be who you are. Yeah. Everyone else is just interpreting what you're giving out. So how can they compare you to anyone? You're an individual. Mm. You're the only one that knows what you're trying to be. Yeah. So I wish I learned that earlier. I do. I don't know. As I said before, I don't have any regrets for it, but I definitely would have gave me the confidence to be myself quicker. Yeah. That's for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, this has been the docs cast swap cast today. Docs cast, cast. Thank you for listening. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you all for listening. There will be another Docs Cast Opcast every 10 episodes, but we will not be doing it as tired as we are doing it today. <laughs> <laughs> all right, peace. <laughs>
Shawty catch a vibe, yeah, I had to put her on Bought a two-seater, yeah, we headin' for the sun Shawty got my high, I ain't trippin' for the fun Yeah, I won't start, I ain't trippin', I'm a stunt